right. Welcome. I'm Rox Prespice. It's going to be year two, episode seven. Episode seven, I believe it is. Uh, pretty stoked for this one. Should be a good time. Uh, we are the Expanse actual play role playing game. Uh, it's put up by Green Ronin Publishing. You'll see a little thing pop up for them in the chat. You can go there and get 10% off from Green Ronin. Uh, the uh, year two is going good. Uh, we got kind of a fun game here tonight. Uh, we're kind of setting up for the next kind of like month of stuff, which is going to be kind of a cool little like little arc I'm looking forward to. Uh, tonight, well, we have a giveaway, as we usually do. Uh, tonight's giveaway is a special one. It is a copy of uh, Expanse soundtrack. Oh, that's the wrong one. Final collector's edition. Uh, very nice. There's a lot of cool art and everything on it. Uh, these are getting harder to get. Uh, but I got one. I got one of these to give out tonight. Uh, this is my. This is what's called like my birthday game, guys. Like my birthday's later this week, uh, so I want to kind of make sure like I give off some kind of fun. I love vinyl records. I love the expanse. I thought I'd give it out. Um, there is a restraint tonight, though. Uh, our giveaway tonight is only eligible for people in the United States. We're going to ship the record to the United States. Uh, it's just gotten too expensive to ship it international, guys. I'm sorry, it sucks. But uh, come back next month. Everything will go anywhere in the world. So, but tonight's key word is. Highway star, one word. Highway star. Uh, Highway so, star. Okay, here Highway goes. Star. Yeah, here goes Michael's mm, yeah. conspiracy oh. theory. Oh. Uh, but no, that's the song. That's the the deep purple cover that's on there. That was <laughs> Highway Star, and so it's a lot yes. of fun. It's a really fun track and everything too. Uh, so please, um, yeah, go in through on Highway Star, and you'll be entered to giveaway. Uh, we will uh, run the giveaway at the end of the um next up if we hit our uh sub goal for the month which we're at 20 out of 100 uh I'll give out a copy of the expanse board game this one i'll send to whoever wins the, the giveaway night so but uh if, if you don't wins it we carry it over to next month as we do every month <laughs> but uh it's a, it's a lofty goal people it's a lofty goal but i i'm really uh I'm, I'm, one day one day we'll get there um and last but not least we have a patreon the best way to support our stream is our patreon you can go on there get bonus episodes get previews of what's coming up uh we have a special guest actually next session uh josh simons is going to be here uh we're stoked about that i talked about him a little bit on the uh on a patreon ahead of time uh and you get kind of a preview of his character which i'm very excited to introduce and uh, i think that's a pretty good amount of stuff anyone have anything else going on Go plug talk about Nah, just here to play. <laughs> That's it, man. All, he's, all, he's, all, he's all business. He's all business yeah, time, man. Yeah. yeah, he's like, you're just waiting to want to talk about McMichaels. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is up with McMichaels? What is yeah. up with McMichaels, man? I don't know. I, I look, man. I haven't asked you. You only started. If you guys want to do the romance, we can do the romance. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Let's cool. go. Uh, but yeah, thank you, thank you very much. All right, here comes the opening, guys, uh, and we'll be back in about a minute.
right, we're back. Thank you. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the opening. We're trying that whole thing with the opening. I messed it up last week, and I now, I now just, I like it. I want to do it. That's how it is. Congratulations. It's my, it's my Twitch channel. I can do what I want. All right. <laughs> You're not the uh, boss of me. No, no. The buttons here are the boss. OBS is the boss, actually. But, um, it runs the whole show. All right, cool. So, as we left off, uh, you the, the group here, uh, the crew, had met up with uh, one Zenny, uh, Pazal, was it Pazal? I was always Pazal. Mm-hmm. And um, met them up in a support group, and uh, all of you have many things in common. You lost people in your lives to the OPA cause, not that they've been killed, but they've joined up. And you're also all broke. And uh, opportunity is something that we'll say, uh, pull out in the belt, do not avoid. They try to they try to find it. So, uh, using your connections, you and having the ship, and knowing that you have a few people under your your uh, purview, with Myrtle's um, uh, uh, Cooper's it's Cooper's goods, right? Cooper's goods uh, under the employee. You decided to kind of like, well, we recruit the ship enough. We got a pretty good amount of people. It'll work, and you decided to go to the top. Decided to hit up the contact of Anderson Dawes, the governor of Ceres Station, and also, you know, a well-known member of the OPA. So, uh, yeah, you put in the contact, uh, Myrtle, no problem. You have a meeting set up here to go in the governor's uh, quarter section of the of the station. Um, it, it's changed quite a bit in the last year since you've been here. Uh, they definitely aren't... Uh, maintaining the gardens as they once did when they had an earth governor. Um, it's becoming less and less that way, but there is also kind of this idea to like make it look nice and these tenable series of the jewel of the belt and such. Um, but yeah, uh, you have a means set, no problem. Uh, did you, and it's in person, you're there you're to go to uh, one of the many offices in the governor's quarters uh, to meet up. You'll be, you know, buzzed in and everything like to, everything like that too. It's a place you've had to go once in a while for like some, uh, business here but as far as having an audience with Dawes that's not something that's happened right but you do have a good in with him your last your last encounter with him was very positive in terms of how that ended up so uh what's your guys's plan uh do you guys want to do any prep uh you guys have the ship the ship's getting crewed up and getting prepped as best you can you do need to get some supplies for the ship but uh that's getting that's getting taken care of you have your uh three belter uh refugees that you brought over i haven't named them uh they're being uh supervised by mcmichaels uh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the big bad we know it's it, is. it, was, it, was, it was mcmichaels the whole time that whole him, whole time. that whole him no. losing, losing his leg on ganymede that was all set up uh. just to make you empathize <laughs> them dude that would be a great <laughs> betrayal because I. Chose that would be that would be yeah we know. saved him and everything and turned out Top ten. He, he was videos. the proto molecule the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, oops. yeah, oops, my bad. Um, but yeah, you. Uh, but yeah, you get the ship. The ship's getting uh, getting worked on and, and uh, preps going on. And the, the the guys you have are largely scientists and mostly like, ag people, but they know how to run life support systems. So they get that on board. Like Michael's isn't bad at like prepping the engineering elements of it. He's not great, but he can do it in a pinch. It's, Kind of what you're figuring out and you're also like well no one else is stepping up and we can't afford it and then zenny you had your uh your one buddy um i believe it was drax, drax. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and drax did you did you want to sign try to get i think you asked him to sign up too uh yeah yeah yeah. i asked him if he was interested in getting you know off uh off of here doing like more you know, working on an actual ship. <laughs> yeah, and uh, did, you, did you want to phrase that to him a certain way? Um, I don't. I think I feel like I did at the end of last time, but yeah. it, it's been a, it's been a hot second. His, his main um, concern was where are you going? Oh, yeah, yes. Okay, probably, so yeah, he he signed probably. up then. He signed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he signed up, and he seems like he's willing to crew and help and en- help the engineering uh, features. He's actually probably better than Michael's on. Been working on. Uh, Tech for uh, three docks for quite a while. Um, okay, cool. Um, Myrtle, or sorry, yeah, Myrtle, what do you want to do for the uh, the meeting? Do you have anything you want to set up? Um, yeah, I'd like to set up a meeting uh, with uh, Wyatt and I and our contact. Um, 
Not that we want to, you know, exclude anybody else, but the other rest of our team hasn't met them. Mm. So it, I don't want to have them thinking we can't do it when we have all these new people. So I want just Wyatt and I to right. kind of set it up and go and schmooze together. Okay. So you're bringing just the inner uh, yeah. and, and the such too. Uh, Wax or like, you know, uh, how, do you, did you want to go or, or are you cool working no. on the ship? Yeah, I'm just going to help me Michael's loading stuff on, just see to the ship, uh, you know, logistics, make sure we're good to go. It, um, you know, this this kind of constitutes a sort of like almost a downtime for you, honestly. Like it feels, oh, it feels okay. kind of comfortable being back working docks and working on it, getting a ship prepped. Yeah. Um, it kind of, it, it's almost normal. Yeah, it feels good. It feels normal. Normal life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah don't, let those, don't let those muscles atrophy too much up here and, and you make sure, you, you, you know, you have kind of a montage. It's like something like out of Rocky or Predator. <laughs> yeah. Um, less, less running on the beach, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah, you, you go up and you start helping on the ship, no problem, get it prepped up, uh, checking supplies and such like that. The main thing the ship's low on is just food, and that's been something they, they've been stocking the recycler, they've been stocking the food supplies, and that's going well. Um, you do... Uh, Waxor, give me a... Um, you find it. You end up as you kind of stock the ship. You do find that the ship has smuggling compartments. Oh yeah. So this yeah. ship, you don't find anything in them. They're all pretty empty. But you do like this ship was like used. This is like a pirate ship at one point. If you're not sure if these people are pirates now. You're pretty sure they're not. Like um, if they are, they played a hell of a long game. Uh, it was McMichael's the whole time. No, but, <laughs> but yeah. yeah uh, if there's anything uh, extra I could, we could put in there, I will, or I'll just make a note of it. You can stash yeah. stuff. I mean, the, the ship does have weapons. It would be a place to hide weapons if you wanted to have, make sure if someone boarded you, like, and check for stuff for lockdown, you could put some of the guns in there. There's a few rifles on the ship, too. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll put some guns down there, a couple extra uh, rations, too. Okay. Mm. You, put, you put kind of a, a kind of, I don't want to say doomsday prep it, but you, you put an yeah. emergency uh, set of gear up in there. Uh, one of the shotguns, you put an assault rifle on there, a pair of pistols, some of the batons, stuff like that, too. Uh, do you want the other crew members to know about that, or like McMichaels and all, or do you just want to, like, keep it yourself? I'll tell it to core crew, but not to, I won't tell McMichaels okay. yet, because you got me all sketched out about McMichaels. <laughs> <laughs> I trusted you. You want more about that? <laughs> um, so, but yeah, uh, According to his medical records, he lost his leg eight years ago. <laughs> it's the wrong leg. <laughs> yeah, it's the wrong leg. <laughs> um, but yeah, the uh, uh, yeah, you go ahead and you kind of you kind of uh, stash some stuff up and uh, take a little bit extra time. There, there people you don't raise a whole lot of suspicion, but as a core crew member, you uh, you mess it up. All right, uh, Zenny, did you have anything you want to do while they go to this meeting, or uh, do you want to tag along, maybe? Um, would, would I don't you, want to tag along with all of those inners, nah. Well, you I can, mean, I don't you, have anything against inners, but like, what would I do there? I don't know. I, don't know. You, you I mean, I, I, I would try to. Um, I'm saying, like, like if you want to like stay outside like, the place while they go in, like watch it, or if you want to just like. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't know them well enough huh. to do that. Um, I think I probably would actually go to the ship oh. to help out with. Um, with Waxer just to get like a vibe of like who he kind of is like get a poke around the ship a little bit give me a um I'm gonna I'm gonna do it guys I'm gonna do it uh Zenny give me a perception touching yes. test <gasps> we're doing touching yes too bad I don't have that as a, a focus oh. skill. Dang. You see Waxer uh, stashing guns in a smuggling compartment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is 11. Do you want to you push that up at all? Let's say a 14. And your fortune's back. You guys have had a rest. So you guys, your guys' oh. fortune's back. What does full mean? What is... You're at your max fortune, which I believe you guys are level 6. Yeah. That should be 30. Unless you have the, unless you took the extra fortune. Uh, I don't remember if I did or not. At the very top of the sheet, yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, if you want to burn some fortune, uh, what was your lowest die uh, roll on that? One. All right, so spend, uh, if you spend a uh, four fortune. You... Uh, 
Uh, sure. Let's okay. go ahead and do that. You're, you're coming around the hallway, and you you feel like through your feet as your your, your boots and everything like that. Um, and the gravity here is pretty good, but you feel like like a distinct like clang uh, of like like something slamming shut, kind of. And so you um you kind of like uh. As you come around the corner, you suspect that like Waxor was like messing with something. But you're looking around and you don't see anything like what would he have been like what would have been that sound? Mm-hmm. Cool. He was oh, doing yeah, something. I didn't, I didn't see you there. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 no, I was just uh just walking around, uh, making sure, you know, just to, to, to check it out, see if I could help at all. Uh did was did something fall? Uh did uh was there a... I heard a noise, and nothing looks, uh, you oh, know, yeah. busted. And it, isn't even, solid, it isn't even that you, it isn't even that you heard like you heard a noise. You could, it was, you were close oh. enough to feel it. Oh, I, 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 I'm, I know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is, yeah, no, no, no. This Zenny, Zenny has a hunch. Zenny's been on enough ships to have at least a hunch. Zenny works security on the docks. Zenny has yeah. a hunch. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, okay, Zenny, look, look. I've been checking out the ship. Yeah, and it's a nice ship. Um, this they got smuggling. Wait, you haven't, you haven't. How 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 long have you been on this ship? Oh, you know, since uh, Ganymede, uh, they we took Wait, off. How long uh, ago was that? About a month and a half. Yeah, <laughs> not so long. So I'm I'm learning stuff about the ship too. But uh, oh, yeah, look look at this. I, I'll just show you. But check it out, and I'll show her the the smuggling. Hey. Department. Yeah, he moves a compartment open, and it's like he has it packed so that like there's like a pair of assault rifles, a shotgun, several pistols, uh, food rations. It's like a go kit in this little yeah. box in this in the thing, and it's pretty well concealed. You never know when when you know um, shit gonna go down. So I, I put a little extra in here. You know, I'm gonna tell Wyatt and Myrtle too. And uh, yeah, this is this one's for us for crew. Don't tell McMichaels, and I'll shut it. <laughs> um, and this is on this is on the uh, the crew level. So normally the armory on the there is an armory on the ship, and it's down a level uh, by like the uh, cafeteria, and it's by the uh, med bay. But this is like up a level closer to operations. So like if you guys uh, were getting boarded, it would give you a little bit faster time to like grab gear, or if you got pushed back here to have like a, a cache of stuff to grab. Yeah, but mm. it's a good idea because I've been on ships before and uh, yeah, with smuggling ships and uh, we always got to keep something stashed just in case we get boarded, so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You want to be careful though in docks. They uh, they look for that kind of shit. Yeah, you want to throw anything in here? I mean, I don't have anything to throw in there yet, but uh, keep it in mind. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, Waxer, so you used your access to the ship to basically move some supplies around and such like that too. That's not a bad move. Uh, Zenny, one thing on the ship, though, with the, the crew quarters is kind of interesting, is that one of the crew quarters, like one of the rooms, has been converted into a pair of brigs. Like, they straight up have a jail on board. Like, it's not, like, fancy. It's, like, just a pair of, like, basically single-person cells, but uh, they did convert um, element of the of the crew quarters to that. And not, and not as far back as most of the other ships have been converted. Uh-huh, gotcha. Uh, I'll, uh, when I see it, um, this is just like while I'm wandering, right? This isn't yeah. like right here, right now. Oh, it's right? actually, it's actually just on the, uh, like, it's like literally across the way from where the, oh, the compartments are. Like, <laughs> perfect. Uh, I'll, I'll like, <laughs> kind of like looking around, see that and point to that and say that, that, that's a, a, an interesting thing to have on a ship like this. Don't you think? Yeah. I don't know what we're going to need those for, but, uh, for now, I think it's just, us. Uh, We'll put some people in there that sit in there, but you know, it's good. It's good to have a break. Um, well, I don't know why would we need to put anybody in there. Yeah, I don't know, but maybe it's somebody getting ruly. Do you? Yeah, well, uh, all right. You said you've been with them for a um, um, couple of months. What sort yeah. of? What sort of? What kind of? En what kind of vibe are they giving you? Because it, it's a little to me. There's some things with this Cooper person that I just don't know. It's not. Not all lining up. She, I mean, for Anna, she's real nice. She's got, she got, she got slippers. She got chocolate. She's uh. Oh, know, those she's... are all soft and nice things. But I've seen soft and <laughs> yeah. nice people 
They don't do good things sometimes. Yeah, but I, I didn't see nothing uh, that I could think that she did bad. She helped me uh, save all the refugees. She's been good with the, a lot, all the Beltas, uh, with everybody. And she and the you know the dust. Uh, why? I mean, he's uh, he seems like a smart guy, and uh, you know they uh, they they're, they're together real tight. So um, I don't know. For the most part, I feel like uh, hey, I trust them more than I trust you know us. <laughs> Well, I'll keep that in mind then. <laughs> yeah, but no, I, I think they're good. They just, I think they know, they've been in through some other stuff and they know some other people that I don't know nothing about. All right, well, let's make sure we don't end up in that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we, we know where the extra guns are at, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but we just keep this between us then. You know, okay. we like we we take them when when they need them. Uh, I mean, we don't if they need it, we we can get it. But you know, maybe we just keep this between you and me. Okay, belt a secret. <laughs> yeah, we make a sign. Oh man, <laughs> damn! It just happened. The yeah. divide. Holy shit! Listen, listen. <laughs> All right, so this is the expanse survivor edition. <laughs> Here, <laughs> now we gotta look out for each other. Yeah, listen. man. Just make sure. I'm the captain now, <laughs> but um, yeah, you uh, yeah, you guys kind of have this little secret compartment of guns now, uh, in Waxer, and you kind of use your access to the ship to uh, set this up a little bit here. Okay, cool. Um, all right, Myrtle and Wyatt, uh, the two of you kind of stroll through. Uh, it's you know. You guys both get a lot of eyes being alone without any belters near you coming into the governor's thing. However, though, uh, why give me you kind of uh, just give me a quick scene test. You pick up on this. The Myrtle can give me two. And why we're gonna give Wyatt a plus an extra plus two to this though. Get extra bonus. Because you're special. <laughs> yeah. Ten. You got ten, including the extra plus two. Including the extra plus two. Myrtle. Eighteen. I'm just skipping along. Hey, I, you're, help, you're helpless, man. And, um, so, uh, Myrtle, as you're kind of going through, you're noticing, like, those kind of people, like, a lot of those kind of look at you like, doing here. Well, occasionally a few people kind of, like, nod at you. Oh, wow. Like, like, some people kind of stare at you, and, like, they're kind of, like, I don't want to say starstruck, but they recognize you, especially if you're coming towards the governor's area. Hey. I just kind of, you know, smile back at people. What's up? They're like, they're like, they're like, one of them's like, kind of sees you and he goes, ah, ah. They kind of reach through their pocket and they pull out this, like, uh, it's kind of like a bag of, like, uh, they're like, they're like, kind of like cheesy puffs, but they're like compressed, like, dehydrated mushroom stuff. And they go, hey, hey, uh, you're, you're Myrtle, right? Yeah. Myrtle Cooper? And, 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 hey, I, I was there that day. And they go, you, you want, you want the puffs? You want a mushroom puff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a piece of chocolate? Yeah, sure, okay. All right, I'll and do a trade. It's really right. good. And they, they give you the little mushroom puff, and like you guys have, they're like, yeah, no, I was in the Medina when when that, when, when, when you think, and on Onyx were down there that, that a year or so ago. Yeah. You saved a lot of people. That Hank is so good. Yeah, he's still kicking around. I don't know what Dawes has him up to these days, but we, we see him around once in a while. But wow, yeah, there, this guy's like, he's like, ah. You no, know, I got a job up here now in the uh, in the, in the governor's uh, district. That sounds really promising, there. Oh, no, this is yeah. He's like, you guys did a lot. He's like, don't don't worry about all these other folks, man. If anything happens, you guys you can. There's belters here that, that know some of you inners are good. That's all right, you know. I mean, we're all really kind of one people, even though we're not all one people. It'd be great if we could be. But hey, if you see Hank around, why don't you tell him I said hello? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that would uh, be great because I don't know if I'm going to see him when we're doing business. But yeah, yeah, that's so cool that you were doing that you were there and you got to, you know, help out and be a part of it and see that we could all work together. You know? Yeah, we, uh, yeah. No, that he's like that's my favorite burrito cart. I'm glad it. I'm glad. I'm glad it stayed. Oh. Uh, um, yeah, that was some burrito cart for sure. But uh, where's uh? He's he's kind of he's like yeah. He's like where's the where's the where's the big man where's like the one that disarmed the bomb where's the, uh, Onyx was oh oh um so sad but uh he didn't make it the footage I just thought he just got his hand blown off what do you like he, he died he did 
did. Did the innards get him or what? Was he on Ganymede? Well, you know, I don't want to really kind of say exactly. It's just like you know, all those rumors about the stuff that's out there with heroes. Still a lot of Beltas. Yeah, he got that Eros shit. On Eros? Oh, no way. Sure, yeah, he was on Eros. Oh, man. All right, all right. Be He's proud like, of him. He was a yeah. good Bratna. No, he did, he did a lot. Did a lot, yeah. He's a good Bratna. Yeah, no, I always remember what him, Hank, all you do for, for us all. It's all you. But look, I got I to gotta get back to, to polishing walls here and everything. And he's like, you guys, he off to another, another like mushroom puff. And uh, yeah, right. he's, like, he's, like, like, he's like, he's like, yeah, my break's almost over, but it's good to see you. He's like, it's good to see you. I'm, see glad, you, I'm glad to have I you I hope out. I get to see you again. And some people, cause some of the bells kind of like, who's like, why is this like, I don't want to say commoner belter, but he's kind of, cause he's dirty. I mean, he's like a janitor, like he's a janitor or something like that. But he's like a, he's a janitor at the, you know, the governor's mansion you know, type thing. So he's doing pretty good for himself here. Uh, he gets to at least see, you know, like good light. Use the good light bulbs here, and um, you know he. Uh, but he seems uh, he's pretty thankful. So you guys got you guys got a little bit of recognition on series it seems. Yeah, yeah. I'll kind of you know like embrace his arm, you know, do uh, the arm thing, yeah. and just say yeah, yeah. you know. All right, you guys move on. Yeah. Anything else? You guys, you guys have anything to say before we move on to the back to the uh, the office you're supposed to eat at? Eventually, we need to like make a memorial for Onyx on the ship. I think it'd be a good idea. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we should. I think we should. That's yeah. a really good idea. Yeah, you, you could easily get like a plaque made really easily. That's actually not an issue. Bronze is pretty. Yeah, we're definitely. Let's do that before we. Not now, but before we leave for good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, and we you, still, we, you know, we gotta, you know, with all of our fallen comrades, we should probably have something, you know, whether they're with us still or not. But, you know, like Jackrabbit is such a huge influence on us in this ship is that we should still have a thing. She's still around, so not on a memorial, but, you know, a maybe plaque on the, the yeah, 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 like on her yeah. seat, a plaque there. Yeah, Sinclair crew. And then we just kind of put everybody's names on there. Okay. Welcome to the, the office. It's like an unassuming kind of like, like looks like a government building of some sort. Uh, it's. It looks, it's like labeled like, you know, um, series station operations, uh, conference hall, you know, and it doors open up, no problem. There's like a small waiting area there. Uh, as you come in, there's like people kind of like looking around talking or this, um, one belter kind of comes up to you. He's got a data pad, well dressed. Um, he's not dressed like it's, it looks like almost kind of reminds me of some like innard fashion, but he's not like trying to emulate inner style but it is kind of it's kind of similar to that. and he uh he comes up and he goes oh you, um oh. he's like uh little uh cooper wyatt thompson i'm here to take you back to uh governor dawes excellent that's and great. his assistant silas i think we're ready then very well quite prompt uh would you like something to drink and he kind of points, there's like a bar with like some coffee bulbs, tea bulbs. Um, there's like, there's no alcohol on it. It's a little more professional, but like there's like some drinks there and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, tea sounds wonderful. Got I'll bowl of tea and coffee. coffee. Yeah, I got coffee tea. It's still kind of early. You guys have just woken up and everything. He goes on back and he, you know, he calls you up. You guide you back there and you, you see a room. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a casual meeting room. The desk, the, the table there can maybe sit like, um, uh, the table there can maybe sit like um, like twelve people total. It's a pretty good sized a uh, table, um, and uh, there's this like fall wood paneling, and then along the edge of it, there's like a couch. There's like a pair of couches, kind of like a meet, like a little meet, like meeting space, little table and such. It's very innard style. This is not like a belter style stuff like that. It's definitely the leftover furniture, but it's it's good furniture, and they're not going to throw it out. <laughs> I agree. Right, right. And um, you see Dawes and this, this other man sit, sitting there talking back and forth to each other. And uh, as as you as the door opens up, you guys come on in and bring you in. And Dawes kind of stand up, and, and the other guy both stand up. They take a drink, take a sip of their drinks, and 
they come, uh, the guy, the other guy kind of stands by the couch. The doll starts coming forward towards you. Uh, and which one do you use in front? Which one do you, Myrtle or Wyatt? Which one do you use in front? Say we're standing beside each other. Beside each other. You guys go two abreast through the door. Okay. Um, Not leaving her side. As you do, uh, Dawes comes forth and opens up his arms like he's coming in for a kind of a hug, like a, like a, like a, like an embrace, like a, like a belter embrace. And he goes, true baratas, true, true baratas. It's good to see you, friend. Ah, uh, this, this is, this is not, you could not come at a better time, Moto, uh, Wyatt. You, you are always welcome. Like, pleasure to meet my, uh, main, one of my main assistants here, Silas. Uh, he will be meeting with us to work out the details. It's, as I have to say, the, the, the job of governor has definitely made me blur out a lot of the details and find ways to delegate them. Oh, sure, sure. That's understandable. You have, you know, your whole people. You have all the people to, to worry about. Oh, so, but we all, we, all, we all worry about each other. And in fact, I, I have to say, uh, still much buzz about your actions a year ago. In fact, actually, I was thinking about this and I was wondering what, um, noticed through the, the logs coming through, came back from uh, the Sinclair and returned from Ganymede. Well, your uh, friend Jackrabbit and uh, Onyx did not return. What, um, where might they be? Uh, well, we lost, uh, we lost Onyx. Hmm. Well, uh, uh, did he, did yeah. he, well, Jackrabbit's still out there. Hmm. She's doing her own thing. She's found, you know, she's really embraced the OPA. Yeah, see. Yeah, we support her. And so she's still out there. And uh, we're just saving a spot for when she's ready to come back, to come home. Breaking it, I, I had heard rumblings of Onyx's demise, but I did not want to, um, <clears throat> I did not want to uh, be so bold to assume. Big solar system. Right, right, right. Um, so you know, it it was, it was it was bad. It was very bad, and it's the the same shit that was on Eros. And it's we took us by surprise, and we just don't we don't know what to do without him. We can, but he would want us to move forward and talk about his art. This this gives me a silence. Uh, take writing this down real quick he's like i'd like a um onyx helped this station he he made sure to ensure the safety of the station to ensure the the safety of my transition to governorship and by all means he will be remembered i was thinking of uh Silas, what do you think to say uh we, we build a, a a plaque wouldn't be a problem to place in the medina I like that. I like that. that. It was a fitting, it's a fitting like tribute to. He would to love that. He would love that. Yeah. And his art. This is what's fascinating. I, I, I went and pulled. Uh, uh, shortly after you left, I pulled some information on him. And I saw his art. I saw the, the scans of the images from Luna of his art. It was, it was truly great that he was able to present his vision of belt to Inuits. Uh, advocating for us that you gave him that kind of access this is this these are the voices we need this is the trade of voices why i value by it and myrtle so much right i mean we're not here to speak for the belt we're here to support the belt because you know you need the support that uh don't come from our planets true oh, and you have art as much as you have growers and fighters you have artists and people who care um, and who are family so we want to support that. that. That's what I was thinking. I, I was ask, I was going to ask actually perhaps if um, if you could provide me uh, the rights as I could do through the appropriate channels to having um, displays of Onyx's art. We, we would be able to well, we could put a projector, a hollow projector down there to display his art in three dimensions so the Belters could see what he told the internet about us and us. Oh, that absolutely wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Um, I'll look at Wyatt and it's just like, it's good with me. I mean, I'd hate for, you know, if well, anybody you, is going to try to steal this, it's going to be. Uh, well, I mean, I, well, this would be the concern. It would be to contact yeah. the, the gallery on Luna that has the rights and had displayed this and that too. 
I'm sure, uh, or whoever the owners of these artworks are, I would prefer to However, go. it helps the belt, and especially Ceres, because this was his own. Like, well, we, it's, always, it's always better to have something nice to look at. And he kind of points to the table, and like, kind of, there's like some artwork on the walls and stuff like that, too. Um, and, uh, but, excellent, excellent. Well, this is, this is, this is all, uh, good and fine, <laughs> and I'm glad to get some better clarity to the situation. Oh. I had heard you wanted uh, some work, direct work uh, for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're definitely looking for work. So if that is the case, then um, I will you to work that out with my assistant Silas. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm sorry I cannot stay to, to talk more and, and such, but uh, Silas will guide you and he speaks for myself and Siri Station. Uh, it's kind of nods and such. Well, we are honored that you had the time to speak to us for a few minutes. Absolutely. Silas, see that they are taken care of and uh, whatever, if they want anything to their drink, uh, feel free to, and he kind of points over like this, like kind of like, uh, it's not a bar, but like a cabinet. But feel free to help yourselves to anything in the cabinet. And he goes off and walks off, and you see the assistant at the door when it opens up, and they greet, greet Governor Dawes, and he goes out, and you see, he's like, almost like, as soon as he walks over, you can just see him talking to someone else in It's a busy, busy man. Uh, it says, that he is. Uh, please, and he kind of points to the table. Go sit down. Yeah, yeah, I'll sit down for you. Take a seat at the table. Um, he, uh, uh so sits down across from you, and Pulls, he goes and kind of goes to his data pad and pulls up this uh, something a hollow projection in the middle of the table opens up and it's a it's a spinning image of the uh, full 3D render of the Sinclair. Sinclair, he says, has been docked here now for the better part of a month. Uh, you came from Ganymede, where we know that you had engaged in dangerous actions moving through the MCRN and, and blockades of the planet uh, way out. Sinclair is a capable ship. And you know, my, uh, my, my position here would be, or Mr. Uh, Governor Dawes and myself and all of us here on Sirius Station would be interested in Sinclair helping us out. Well, what do you got yeah. in mind? What are you looking for exactly? Well, according to what your request was, uh, Mrs. Cooper had uh, the idea of a Rescue operation? Something we have going on? No. Okay. Goes up and he, he flashes over uh, another ship appears on the 3D, the 3D display. So the, the Sinclair kind of becomes smaller and off the side. You can still see it spinning there with the stats and everything talking about it. Um, none of the stats on it are like anything secret. It, it knows that the ship's like known to be armed and everything. Um, although their scans are a little older, so the paint job looks a little bit better. Um, it's a little higher res. You know, um, um, but um, it says, well, uh, there's a um, a ship in our employ that has uh, gone dark and missed a rendezvous with other uh, operatives that we have. And it would be in Fury Station and uh, Governor Dawes' interest for this ship to be found and its presumed cargo retrieved. And we were we know that the Sinclair has ample room for cargo and we've been having it bring this back. I think that's something we could you know, we could probably do, but where where was this ship last seen? It brings up the thing it brings up this kind of like um kind of freighter. It's not a very big freighter, it's a little bit bigger than the Sinclair, but it's it's it looks like and it doesn't look like it's nearly as armed. Um and as it pulls up, you can see Clearly that it has like salvage mech gear on it and such like that too. Like it looks like it's a pretty, it's it's definitely not like a high, like, like a crappy little salvager, but it's a salvage. It has like, uh, see the like mech drones attached to the sides of it. They could easily deploy to bring in cargo, like arms and all that crap. He's like, the Cleftis uh, went dark uh, two weeks ago and about a week ago missed its rendezvous with another one of our operatives. It was on a mission uh, to retrieve and salvage items uh, in the uh, Centurion system. 
but it did not make it back to unload those items and go back about its mission. We have crew on it that we are concerned about, and we have a cargo on it that was reported missing that we'd like to have retrieved. Now, is this going to be one of those things where you don't tell us what's in the cargo, or are we going to be pretty That is the, the issue, is actually we do not know what the cargo that it has is. Uh, we do know that the cargo it was carrying was retrieved from several derelict ships not far off the orbit of Ganymede. I'll let you interpret that however you take that. I'll take that. It's more information than most people give us, so. <laughs> yeah. As you can probably imagine, that kind of cargo is not something we would uh, be broadcasting about the system. So yeah. This is why we don't know what it got, but we know that it did not. We know that it left the enemy, but we do not but where it stopped. We have a kind of trajectory here, and he kind of pulls up like a system map. And it's not to scale or any of that crap, but you can kind of see like the trajectory of it, which last known coordinates where it's kind of it, like it would drift off or something. We suspect it's somewhere in this area. It would be somewhere in this area drifting this direction. And it kind of like it's kind of a moving uh, position of where it might be a probability positions of where it would be. Um, he's like, but uh, moving into this area, you I think you amply able to find uh, the ship. Uh, I can give you guys full hull specs of it that your uh, scanners on the Sinclair will be able to find. Yeah, yeah. And we definitely. know that the Sinclair has ample data sifting capabilities. Might so, I ask, has the Sinclair been further crewed since your last visit to Sirius Station with it? You got at least one new full time person. And do you have part timers? Because this is. This isn't a salvage job like this. It's not something I think that only uh, three or four of you or five of you even could handle. How many do you think we need? We got a few people on the ship to help out, but. Well, the, the from my understanding, the Sinclair can crew, sit, can crew 24. You have a full crew of 24? I don't know how many we have uh, on there. <laughs> not right now. We would need, um, we would need a little assistance with uh, suggestions for crew and uh, maybe some donations or help with being able to feed all that crew we can give you the food uh currently uh human resources are kind of stretched thin for us in terms of our excursions beyond series station but uh Dawes has taken a particular interest in the recovery of this ship and we do have a specialist we would like you to work with to perhaps even get the uh, cleftus back on operations And and who's uh, it is one Dr. Marv, uh, Marvin Valentine, or De Valentine, excuse me, Dr. Marvin De Valentine. And he goes and pulls up this thing, and it's this, you see this kind of, you see this guy on there, um, I don't know what he looks like, but you can clearly tell he's Martian. Uh, you can see that he has several PhD, he has several PhDs, uh, theoretical physics, uh, and it looks like he has a specialty on drive engines. Um, he says, uh, unless you bring a really, you're gonna need to bring a high-end engineer to get something like that back online. Worst case, want to make sure the ship get back online, and get back here. Um, Doctor De Valentine is currently uh, on another contract for us. He points up another ship. Uh, we would have you go out and rendezvous with the ship, uh, get him on board, and then move and start trying to find the Cleftus. He is currently on board the Odingo. I just took the word dingo and made it Irish. I, did. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, dingo. That's all it is. Yeah, it's O apostrophe dingo. I thought it was kind of a fun name for a ship. Good name. So, uh, all this that we're going to do, what's the pay going to be? Because we are we need to know that. Absolutely. Um, he says, well, uh, and this is good that your crew's smaller. Uh, it sounds like you're, you're under... 10 people, it's a good number. Uh, Dr. DeValentine is actually very discreet and we have paid him to be so, and we will pay you and your crew to be such. And he flashes over a number. Uh, it's a way to, yeah. Bertle, it'll get your coffers go back up to what they should have been, what they should be. It's not a subtle amount of money. Um, and he says the, so he says the pay is in proportion to the, uh, what we believe, 
the type of cargo you'll be moving. Uh, you are to avoid at all costs UNN and MCRN uh, boarding parties. Okay, well, yeah, this definitely would reflect that sort of contract and definitely helps us after we I did our best to support uh, the refugees from Ganymede and, you know, kind of support them since they've been here and, and all that. So, yeah, it would, it's definitely, and, it's definitely and a good number. It goes without saying, uh, survivors are of the utmost important uh, from the cleftus. Okay. Them, please bring them back. We'll bring them back, whether they're alive or dead, we're not going to leave them out there. We won't kill them. No, That's no, right. please, no, please, no, please, no, they're all, no, they're all, happen, we'll bring them all back. They're all loyal, uh, and, uh, heroes of the belt. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, Dr. DeValentine, he kind of pulls up, and he kind of pulls up, like, a series of publications by Dr. DeValentine, and it goes, I mean, this guy, like, knows Epstein drives back and forth, like, uh, there was actually, like, a poster of him, like, from his youth, like, when he was, like, 15, and he, I mean, you know, he looks like a, like, why, he looks like the standard Martian nerdy kid. And he has, like, I kid you not, like, a picture of um, Solomon Epstein behind him on his post, like, a big poster of him on the wall. And it's some crappy, like, po picture of Solomon Epstein everyone saw in every textbook they ever read or whatever it is. But it's like, he had this big blown up thing on his wall. And, you know, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, he's, but it looks like this guy, this guy, Dr. DeValentine, he could get this thing back online, like, rain or shine. Unless, like, the whole drive is ejected and gone, he'll get it back online. Well, we can definitely, uh, well, it, definitely get everything taken care of. Is yes, the uh, the serendipitous, according to uh, Governor Dawes, have been how do I say this excellent at bringing uh, inner hardware to series station with the most discretion. That is something that we've done. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I believe I have. Uh, the we learning. are definitely familiar with that, so that's definitely not new to us. And he goes up and he like he he pulls all the data back down into his data pad. All the stuff kind of collapses and pulls it up and he brings an encrypted an encrypted set and he pushes it over to uh, both your data pads. He says, um, "Feed this into the Sinclair and leave it anytime you need to. Uh, you do need to rendezvous with the Odingo uh, with a certain time frame, so please coordinate with them and we will give you their coordinates to type in back and forth and." Uh, you pick up uh, Dr. DeValentine appropriately. Okay. That's uh, that's something we can do. And uh, just make sure that we have everything we need to get ready to launch off. Yeah, and he pulls up a thing and he goes, uh, this should, and he goes up and like, uh, this should get done. Um, Wax, are you kind of standing there like working on a Sinclair? And all of a mm -hmm. sudden like, like a, uh, a little alert comes in that there's like some at the airlock. And like, uh, do you want to go check it out? Yeah, I'd be right. like, ah, oh, Spock, right. I was just working a, on this. There's like a guy. There's a guy standing there, and he goes, uh, "I got, the, I got your food resupplies for you." And like, like you guys weren't expecting like a delivery, and it's like a stack of like a, like uh, a whole like uh, mag lift full of like food. I mean, it'll easily feed the crew for like if you guys were out for like like five months, it'd be enough to feed you guys without having to recycle. I go, oh yeah, yeah, this from uh, this from Dawes. Where does this come from? Um, he, he, when you say that, he gets kind of nervous and he goes, "Oh, oh, um." Where's your work order? <laughs> uh, according to my my invoice, he flashes over to the and he comes up like on the display next to the airlock. And it says like it was just scheduled to be delivered by this, and you guys are the uh, client for it. There's no mention of like the uh, series station or Governor Dawes or anything like that. Uh, He's like, I'm "Yeah, gonna... you guys, you guys, uh, you pay for the rush order." Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, and I'm gonna um shoot a. Um, thing to uh, Wyatt and uh, Myrtle just to check. Hey, uh, we got rations coming. Is this something you guys do in your meeting? And Silas kind of looks at you too as you guys are looking at this thing. You see this thing pop up with uh, wax or he's all, excellent. Guy. Well, I think we're, I think you guys are ready to go. And like, like he set this whole thing up ready to go. And uh, we'll send back no. We'll send it back to you. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't eat all of this. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> He goes, uh, he's like, well, please, um, on your, he's like, uh, I have another meeting to attend to, but please, on your way out, uh, help yourself to something in the bar. And he uh, leaves you guys to the room. Now, whether or not you believe the room is not bugged is a whole different st situation, but you are certainly welcome to the bar. I assume it's bugged, but I still help myself at the bar. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna take a whole bottle of the first nice thing I see. You may not want to be seen walking out with a whole bottle. You may want to just take a shot. Let me get that uh, Ganymede gin. <laughs> We're gonna get one of those. We'll toast it and yep. throw down and head out. It's a lot of money. It's not a subtle amount of money. Uh, this is on. When you guys sold Dawes, sold him uh, the Goliath power armor a year ago, it's on par with that kind of like credits for Sirius Station. It's a lot. Whatever he's getting off this stuff, yeah. it's, you're guessing it's some pretty hard tech. Probably not power armor, but something else <laughs> like he got from some uh, derelict ships. Uh, essentially, I guess my question is, you two are former Navy uh, from respective forces. How do you guys feel about the OPA basically, I don't want to say grave robbing, but uh, taking over the remains? Uh, finders keepers. Yeah, that's like kind of the way I feel about it. I like to cite the case of finders versus keepers. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimate salvage. Legitimate yeah. salvage. Uh, that's, that's the saying of the belt, finders keepers. Yeah, I mean, if we wanted to keep those hardline things, we'd probably still be at home at Luna and Mars. The belt doesn't get support, and we couldn't do, we couldn't live without the belt, so I got no problem with it. Yeah, I have no problem with it. I'm sure my father would have something different to say, but uh, that's why I'm his rebel daughter. <laughs> Someone in the chat put, I really liked it. Let me find it quick here. Oh, uh, Wax or, I was like, Mike, you put Blacklight Epstein poster. Okay, I yeah. thought I said like Black yeah. Blacklight Epstein Drive, which would be a cool name for a band. <laughs> that would be very cool. <laughs> Blacklight Epstein Drive. I just Drive. imagined that guy's poster was a yeah. Black Blacklight of, of of yeah. It's like it's like you know, kids have like the Albert Einstein poster in their dorm yeah, room, yeah. and it's a like Blacklight yeah. though. Yeah, it's all psychedelic. Um, it is the world. <laughs> all right. And so, one of those like velvet, soft velvet pine. Yeah. Oh yeah, the one that you yeah. like color in. Yeah. Those are fun. Yeah, with the other markers. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you guys take a shot of whiskey. Uh, it's not gin, it's all like whiskey or bourbon. And uh, it's high-end stuff. It's from Earth. Mars and Earth. Stuff like that too. I'll Go pick on. out the one. I just do a quick scan and I'm like, that one. Yeah, and you guys take a shot. It may not look classy if you start walking out the bottles. I'll say that. Yeah, um, it's like... But are you classy is the question. Right? Do you want to be classy or do you want to have a <laughs> bottle of whiskey? Aren't you just going on about how these people aren't supported and then you're going to steal their good booze? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a there's contradiction there. I'm glad but, that waxer didn't go. Uh, I just I just feel that Dawes <laughs> would go fair play. Sure. I did say to help yourself, right. but we didn't take a bottle. We just went find us keepers. Okay. You guys <laughs> take a nice swig. It's a good it's a good drink. It kind of reminds you of home by all means. Definitely the kind of stuff your dad drinks. Um, you uh, but yeah, you guys get set up and everything like that too. Uh, waxer, this this whole thing of rations is there, yeah. or, or like food supplies. Um, it looks like uh, Myrtle and Wyatt are like, get it on board. And it look, I mean, it looks legit. It's not concealed. It's not like in crates. It's like set to be like bloated into the. Um, uh, I tell him, uh, yeah, you can leave it there. Um, and I'll, I'll take the rest and I'll load it up myself. Don't worry about it. Yeah, and basically, uh, the other crew hands you have, Mick Michaels, another one. Uh, I don't know if Zenny's going to pitch it. If Zenny wants to poke around the ship more. Are you going to poke around the ship more, Zenny? Uh, I was actually going to uh, make sure that. Um, I didn't like pack anything because I didn't know if anything was actually going to come of this, but it seems like something has come of this. So I'm actually going to uh, probably pass this leaving the, the ship and uh, would tell, would, would just say, uh, I'm going to uh, go get my things. I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. That's not a problem. No. I mean, they're, they're not going to leave. They don't have a window to leave a uh, series station for another, uh, like 16 hours on issues, yeah. so. Yeah. But uh, um, you guys were given priority to leave, though. You guys, if you guys want to leave early, you actually probably both. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would go get. I would just go pack my stuff. Uh, I would tell um, Crystal, uh, the the roommate, that uh, I was leaving. Uh, oh, she's like, wow. Okay. She's like, well, sounds like your your new friends are working out. I I I haven't really heard what they were. Uh, we're doing yet but apparently we're doing something big so i mean i hope it's every I hope it's fine <laughs> you saw you kind of on the way out of the ship you kind of saw where like in the um the docking like order and stuff like that how like this ship's getting priority you, you know do inspection and everything like that 
every single red flag that you have on like in terms of like top down corruption on a ship is like triggering like they're getting priority because they're going to do yep. bad things or not bad things but things for Dawes direct like they got the job oh then that then it's a bad then it's bad things <laughs> well, like, bad yeah things. okay yeah. <laughs> for be... like I don't I don't trust Dawes so for me it's like it's I got weird I got weird it feels feels weird feels weird <laughs> Dude, I'm kind of curious. Do, do you have an angle in terms of like, I mean, being that you might have an opportunity to like, I'm kind of curious how you think about like, well, this might be an opportunity to actually get in with OPA and then maybe even find your brother or something. That's kind of why I think Zenny is, is still there and still going along with it. Cause like they, I think that they wouldn't willingly do like, pretty blatantly what appears to be pretty blatantly opa stuff um normally but i think because it's so like high up um and they haven't heard from their brother in a, in a long time that this might be a really good you know i get in a little bit of good graces over here i get out of here maybe we can you know figure something out and then I don't have to ever touch them or talk to talk to <laughs> talk to them again. I don't ever have to do any of that ever again. Um, one of the things that's, that's odd though is that, like I mean Dawes is one faction in the OPA. He's a major right. player and he's got a lot of reach. And like that's kind of the trip is you're not really sure what you in faction or what kind of like which your brother's getting into. I mean not yeah. doing this like kind of like you know legitimate businessman club. I just thought that Dawes does, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Dawes is big, and Daw Dawes is a big name connected yeah. to the OPA. So, it if... carry weight. Yeah, yeah. All right, Crystal. Kind of. Do you tell Crystal about that you're working for Dawes? Did you mention that to him, to her? Uh, yes. Actually, she's like, whoa. I think that's one of the few people I could tell, and they would, they would she's like, like, whoa. <laughs> okay, she's like, what are you doing for Dawes? They, I mean, I don't, I don't exactly they they were in a meeting with with him so i don't know exactly what it is but uh uh she's like wow okay um look listen, look it's, uh, it's it's it's, it's kind of it looked it feels a little feels a little under some sort of table or, or two but like yeah it's, it's Dawes, Dawes. So, I mean, <laughs> he's like yeah, yeah. like <laughs> I, I i know um she's like yeah okay well look here okay okay um so what i'm gonna do is she goes over and like she uh she goes on her data pad she goes all right uh, I have this, uh, I have this encrypted line I haven't used yet. If you could type beam back to me with the details about what's going on out there, I'd get the scoop. Oh, yeah. Oh, for, absolutely. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we keep on the lowdown, and that, that encryption yeah. will be hard to break, but I don't have a whole lot of lines on that. Like, that's that's a pretty expensive bandwidth to run. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Wow, wow, this could work. She's like, this could work out for really well for both of us. Yeah, I, uh, did... Are you planning to stick around here with all of the, with everything kind of? She's like, yeah, and you can see her data feed. She has all her screens open and everything like that. And she kind of sits in a chair, like a, like a chair all day, uh, checking these like data feeds and so like to monitoring the stuff on the station. Um, she's plugged into several feeds. It looks like she has a, like, you think she got a local job, like basically checking security cameras and everything like that. And like uses that to kind of help, help her stories. She's writing for back on earth and everything. Um, but she, yeah, I mean, she's a reporter. I mean, so she's like, this mm -hmm. is definitely what she wants. And like, you have an inside scoop. You're her roommate. She's like, you know, she's trying to get you to help her out a little bit here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she, she's 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 an opportunist. She doesn't she she wouldn't oh, yeah. do this to like at your expense. Oh but yeah. But she's yeah. like, well, you're there. You might as well tell you might what as well tell me what happens. Yeah yeah, oh. yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I mean, just uh, I think things are. I, I I have a feeling something something's something's happening. It feels she's I like, don't know. I know it's Dawes, and like, like she's like she. Well, I like... mean more. That, okay, yes. All, all right, all right. And I'm just going like <laughs> I because I, I imagine we're, this is a very small apartment. I imagine yeah. we're just basically it's like it's a one room. room with like a closet that you guys, we. I think in, I think we established you have a shared bathroom down the hall. Yeah. Um. Uh, so I'm just like <laughs> as as we're talking, I'm just like putting. You know, as whatever things I have, which I'm sure is not a whole lot right now, mm. into a bag or two. Yeah, you grabbing like <laughs> grabbing some like 
cold food or something and like There's... half eating and talking. I mean, you have your clothes on your back. Uh, you may have an extra set of clothes if you want to bring them. Um, yeah. I know you have a pistol. Uh, you bring an extra mm. clip for that, no problem. If you, you want to grab that, uh, yeah. you, you can grab like a tool set or something like that. Something pretty basic. The ship has yeah. all that stuff already, though, easily enough. And the ship yeah. does have back suits. You saw there's like uh, at least like a dozen and a half like back suits on board. Like, and and, and there's also a. Uh, you did notice in the cargo hold there's like a pair of drones, like exterior. exterior uh, 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 what's it? Called? Vacuum drones. drones. Like they operate in vacuum, gotcha. and they're not like assault drones. Like one's like a mech drone, yeah. and one's a surveillance drone. Yeah. They have like they have they're pretty well equipped. All things considered, and the ship is armed. Yeah. Like, all things are pretty heavily armed. Cool. Um, and then I think the only thing I would do before before I get back is just uh, I would send a message to Drax saying, "Hey, it looks like we're gonna ship out." today <laughs> so just he's make like, sure that you're, you're not this dock he's like yeah yeah he's like i checked on the engine the ship's are actually in really good <laughs> shape uh like you know uh did you work it out with the the owners if i could come along uh yes oh he's like awesome awesome okay cool he's like yeah there's like lots of quarters <laughs> on here because right now, like, the whole ship all said and done is, like, there's only nine of you on the ship. And like I said, the ship has quarters for 24. Actually, sorry. Yeah. The ship has quarters for 20 and two prisoners. <laughs> because of the conversion. <laughs> I forgot the, I forgot the conversion. Um, and, uh, but yeah, uh, it is, I mean, there's plenty of space and plenty of food. Um, but he, you know, it seems like something he's kind of interested in. And he's like, if it pays, it pays. As an uh, aside, I have not told anyone <laughs> that Drax is coming. I'm just going to show up and Jax is going to be there and be like, oh, good, you're here. <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you, you took him on the ship earlier to check out the drive just to make sure the ship was, like, you know, space worthy. And it was. And he's like, yeah, it's cool. But he's kind of excited to kind of check it out. Um, mm -hmm. You're not sure if he's more excited to either uh, check the ship out or he's more interested in going out with you, basically, like going out to a, like a mission with you or heading out with you. Uh, he kind of, you know, you know, he's always kind of had a little bit of a crush on you, you thought, you thought. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he's a pretty good engineer. Yeah. And this guy, McMichaels, they have, you're kind of like... Uh, you have your own McMichaels. Your own McMichaels. I have my own McMichaels. <laughs> you get McMichaels. You get a McMichaels. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely when I'm loading up the food rations, I'm going to be like, hey, Bretna, it's McMichaels. Like, well, it looks like we're going somewhere far. So we've got some job coming up. You ready, man? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to taking this. Who are we working for this time? Yeah, I don't know yet. We're gonna wait. Well, we're working for Motorola and uh, Wyatt, but we're gonna find out. Yeah. Right, he's like, hey, he's like, man, you guys all help me out, man. I'm down for whatever. Yeah, you watch I'll do my this back. No problem, man. He's yeah, like, I gotta say, you see these drones they got? Yeah, yeah. Mech well, drone, that mech drone, nice, man. Like you can move we'll some take it up. We'll take it up for a spin later. I tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those things fun, man. I, I like oh, yeah. those because you don't have to worry about the G's on them. <laughs> you put that helmet on, you pilot the thing, and you go fix the thing. You feel like you're right there in space. I go. You know what, Mc? You know what, McMichaels? What? Hey, look. When we're going on this thing, you, you, you watch my back, and uh, I watch yours, and we watch the cruise back. But uh, let me show you something. I'm gonna show him the uh, the stash. Hey, you think what he's like? He's like, <laughs> oh man. He's like, I knew they had an armory, but I didn't know they have all this. Oh she. Well, this <laughs> we'll put in this here, okay? So like, yeah, some yeah. Go bad, some go bad, and I, I, I said, he, 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 he's like, hey, the boss mags know about this yet? Yeah, not yet, but I, this, this. You gonna tell so him, or we, or we keep this yeah. between us? No, I, I probably, I tell him, I probably tell them, but uh, <laughs> but this, they, when if something go bad, and I, I send you the secret word, or I give you the sign, man, you go to this compartment, and you pull out the rifles, but, and yeah, you come yeah. find us. You might, we might, you might be able to save us. So just keep that in mind. Okay, okay, All yeah, right. yeah, no, that's good, that's good, man. You never, you never know who try to board you either, man. Some, he's like, I know a lot of OPA out there, but there's some pirates too. Yeah, so yeah. I heard. He's like, you know what I heard, man? Mm. You know, I was at the bar the other night, man, and they're talking. I heard, I heard a Naruto picking up, man. I heard he's grabbing belt of ships wherever he can, man. I heard he going out and uh, uh, trying to stab people in the back. Ah, uh, Sabaka, we got that guy. Watch out uh, for that, uh, one. that one, he, he, he's a whole mess, man. He got a whole big thing, but oh, I don't yeah, want to, I don't want to mess with him. But yeah, man, I'm what I'm worried Kongo. about. Yeah. He's like, I ain't. Yeah. He's like, I ain't worried about no innards coming on this ship and trying to take our stuff, man. We got nothing to, for them to take. You yeah. know, they're taking enough. But he's like, I'm worried about the belters that prey on other belters. Oh, me too, me too, bro. No, me too. Yeah, that's why. 
Yeah, we gotta we gotta be careful. So uh, all right, break all right, time's man. over. Let's and he kind of like he kind of gives you like uh, he goes do, he goes in for a handshake, and he, you guys right. do kind of the union handshake from yeah. Ganymede, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's like, yeah, it's all right. You kind of get that out. So he's like, all right, cool. And he goes back to loading the stuff up and everything. Um, I'm just gonna tell every other person I didn't tell them about the stash, but everybody will know. So. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> I tell everyone. I tell everyone the same thing. It's like, look, man, when the shit hits the fan, <laughs> only yeah. you and I got this thing right. Yeah. I'll tell everybody everyone else. Everyone shows out. up all the same time. <laughs> hey, like, two Wait guns, two guns, yeah. one snicker. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He tells everyone. I'll tell everybody else out, but you. <laughs> but um, uh, Wyatt and Merle, you guys come back to the ship there and at the docks, and there's this like guy standing there you've never seen before. Uh, no, he's a belter. Uh, kind of tall, dark hair, short cut. Uh, he's got a flight suit on. Uh, you can see he's he's worked on a few ships here and there, but he's definitely got like the series dock, uh, dock like stuff going on. Like that's what the, the jumpsuit is primarily. He's got a double bag. And he's like kind of lost. Like kind of was looking around, waiting by the ship. Um, but the the airlock's closed up and everything like that too. And he's just waiting to be like you know, on the ship. But you've never seen him before, uh, either one of you. Who are you, and why are you at our ship? Oh, he's like, oh hi. Uh, I'm Drax Draymore. Uh, I'm I'm one. Of, I'm Zeddy Spring. We used to work together. Uh, she said you guys need an engineer. Oh yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he kind of when you say that to him, he his eyes get kind of big. Like, what the fuck? Like, he's like, holy shit! Like, he's like, were you guys about to fly out here, out of here without an engineer? Done crazier things. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, so so uh, real quick, uh, what do you do? Tell us oh, about he's like, well, I'm a, I'm a, I've been a tech on the uh, repair tech on the series docks before DOS took over. I worked with Zenny a lot. Uh, they were doing the inspections and, and, and checking out ships and everything. And if there was some problem uh, problematic, I'd be the first one on if there was an emergency repair. Or if someone brought in like a faulty Epstein drive. He's like, we had this one time, man. Someone else took out like took out the dock on 15A across the station. But we caught it in time, no problem. We lock it down and get that bottle sealed. So can oh. you pass a background check? Uh, he's kind of like, <laughs> he's like, I mean, <laughs> he kind of, he goes over and pulls his credentials and pushes it over to you. And, he, and it has like his certifications. I mean, he's certified pretty damn well. He doesn't have like theoretical education. Like he didn't go to like some grad school or something like that. And he's not Naomi Nagata or something like that, but he's practical and he can get stuff fixed and figure out major problems before they happen kind of situation all right oh. well so uh you know we're gonna be gone for a little bit yeah Have yeah with you? i heard you guys got a pretty good crew uh uh is it uh do you guys have is, is Denny like running security for you guys or what's she doing now you know now really don't know what her role is yet uh, <laughs> I don't... Figure it out, though. <laughs> she's investigating <laughs> <laughs> she 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 pushes the buttons <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what we needed. We needed oh, we no. needed eight button pushers on this mission, and <laughs> they showed well, up. <laughs> if Zenny is speaking for you, I mean, worst case, if you do us wrong, there's an airlock. So make an intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> Me? You threatened his life. <laughs> what is yeah, what is the airlock he's standing in front of. <laughs> what would that be? I would. It's know. under communicate. It's under. Uh, well, this would be communications. Normally, it's strength, but it's communications because you're. Tell him it. Modal can be scary, man. I will refer to Thirteen. Thirteen. He goes. Oh he's, no! He's like, no problem. He's like, no problem. No. Danny says, says you good people. You good people. Uh, I, I trust him. I, I, we worked together for like uh, at least five years. Right. Well, if they say it's okay, if you're good, then uh, you're good. Welcome on board. All right. He, he like, he, you guys you guys open the airlock up in there, and Waxhorn is hey. there, and McMichaels is there, and a few other people are kind of moving stuff around, and you can see this, like, mag pallet that's, like, being slowly unloaded of food. Um, and he uh, Zenny can show you, uh, if you hook up with Zenny, uh, they can show you where the bunk is. Okay, and, like, um, so yeah, Zenny's not there quite yet. <laughs> and uh, you you uh, you let him on in. And he's kind of looking around the place. Like, wow, this is big. Uh, he's like, this is like kind of looking, kind of catching all this stuff. He's like, this is not what this ship should look like on the inside. Oh, he's, he's like got a smart one. <laughs> yeah, he's Crap. like, you're. He's like, well, this cargo bay should be more more like 
block. Like it should be a single block. And so you have this kind of space here and this space here cut out. And he's like, you guys have torpedo tubes. Holy shit. He's like, this thing's armed. What the hell kind of ship is this? Um, uh, it's kind of um, a hodgepodge of different things and different uses. Yeah, so. this is, and he's kind of looking around where like the the missile, like the the torpedo tubes are, and it's like that. And he's like, I knew it had a PDC network, but like, God, okay, okay. And you guys have, okay, oh, okay, okay, all right. Uh, who? How about I show you down to like engineering? You have a check. Yeah, out. yeah. Um, he's like, this ship should have a bunk down there. Is that where you guys want me? I can I can stay down there, no problem. Uh, there's like there's like a pair of engine like bunks in the engineering department or in the machine shop, basically. And there's like the main crew cores up by the uh, above the galley. Yeah, you can stay down there. That's all right. Okay, cool, cool. And he takes his bag and he, you, you kind of show him down there. And he's like, oh man, this machine stuff's like, this is, this is like, this is really clean. And like, he's like, okay, okay. And he goes and finds one of the bunks and he kind of sets up there and he's got the butt. And then like, uh, as you, as he's like going down there, you, you make my goes, hey, hey, one of the left's mine. And he kind of like looks to wax or like to back him up. Wax, you back him up. Yeah. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, new guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can. You can take that one over there. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. He's like, no problem. He's, okay. And he goes down there. And uh, do you want to guide him, Wyatt, when he goes down there or whatever? Yeah, I'll go down there with All right. him. All right. You start kind of like uh, put him in through like the the stuff here to. Uh, <laughs> uh, you kind of you kind of put the like give him the permissions to work on the ship and everything like that too, like within. Re- them off the security and everything so we actually operate the drive and inspect it and everything um then you come back to the ship and there's like myrtle and mcmichaels and wax are all kind of hanging out and they're loading up like this rations and everything oh yeah myrtle uh, how did the how'd that meeting go i assume it went well uh just kind of gesturing to everyone who's now here doing things uh yeah yeah we got a gig set up um uh, so hopefully you're still on board for that um, we've got our supplies are all being restocked. We're just about ready to go. And, um, yeah, you may recognize this face. Uh, your, uh, your pal Drax is here. Oh, oh, good, 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 uh, good. <laughs> good. Uh, he's good. He's good. Um, I meant to, to, uh, to tell you that he was good and he was coming and it, it just kind of, it, uh, slipped my mind a little bit. Well, that's all right because i told him you know it's just like if you're terrible we have an airlock so. I, I, uh I, all right well i prefer not that would that's against okay. the Indian policy <laughs> <laughs> yeah he pulls up he pulls up his like his, like the funeral like type, type he has like ingrained into his like the you know? <laughs> like it's like super detailed yeah he gave like three warnings and then he gets space yeah that's, that's, that, and that that's I gonna mean, be our next game is we're gonna have it where the whole crew unionizes it's against Marvel. Union <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> roll up a new character <laughs> Uh, no, 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 it's fine. It's, you know, it's just, I kind of like to say that kind of thing to see how people will take it. You know, and I'm not going to space anybody. I'd leave that up to Wyatt. <laughs> yeah. He looked like he spaced a couple. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not, I mean, I can fight a little bit, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a quartermaster and a so so pilot. So, that's um, where I am. All right, real quick, <laughs> Michael. I need you to roll a single d6. We hit turn 10. Oh. oh. One. McMichaels. Oh, no. He's kind of standing next to you. Oh, no. Damn it. He's and like, fucking McMichaels. And his cybernetic leg explodes. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he, um, he, uh, yeah, he goes flying through the air like a, like a firework. Uh, no, he, um, uh, goes, goes, fuck his dish guy. We are, he's like, I could do all that engineering shit. Yeah, yeah, but the, you know, this is a this is a, a copang of uh, Zenny's, man. So you know, we just we're just gonna have you do oh, man, she stuff with me. I don't know, man. He's like, you guys put a lot of faith in her already, man. Like, I feel like. Yeah. I, he's like, I don't know, man. We were in it back on Ganymede. You know, we saw that. I saw that thing with you guys. Oh. You know? Hey, hey. Well, well, you know what? Just you, just be my second eyes. You watch. You watch the. You watch the new uh, one, 
and then uh, just keep eyes on Zeddy. Yeah, and just tell me. Don't worry. It's gonna go smooth. All right, all right. Well, I'll tell you this much, man. Uh, that, if that if that guy, man, if he uh, he more, I think I I ain't gonna I ain't gonna deal with it, man. I I know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe you should take the 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 bunk away from him. I'll keep you two separated for now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. All hey. right. All right. Yeah. Oh, great. So, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like the new guy. That was that was the turn ten. McMichael does not like Drax. <laughs> that's fine. That's so so. That's really cool. <laughs> um, it's kind, of, it's kind of perfect and weird. I, okay, I will read what the rules of the, of the game say. This is yeah. a minor effect, a social effect. An NPC's attitude shifts <laughs> one step negatively. Dang. Dang and so McMichaels Michael. was like, you know, he was kind of testing that dude. All right, so he's like, so we got a little bit of tension, but it looks like they're both be working engineering together. Um, yeah. And you can tell, you're, uh, Waxer, give me a, uh, give me an empathy test real quick. Okay. And that would be a under uh, uh, communications. Yeah. Or perception. Perception. Sorry. Perception. Ooh. All right. Six. Fourteen. And perception. Fifteen. And I got a two on the drama, but two sixes. Um, you're pretty sure that like. Like Michael's might be a little jealous. Of this guy, he thinks you, you, you think like this guy, like Michael thinks this guy's smarter than him. Yeah, this maybe a little insecure. Thinking. Yeah, because he's younger. I, he's I just younger, imagine yeah. he's younger, you know. And McMichael's and, a little. And sour. you know, I mean, McMichael's hasn't, you know, he lost his home and everything and his job, and so his like whole kind of identity's been up in arms. He's trying to find. Yeah. It looks like he kind of felt like he needed. You're guessing he's probably starting to identify as like gonna be part of this crew. Yeah. And now it's like, well, I had that covered, man. I could have done it. Yeah, he wanted to be that. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, you know, McMichaels ain't that smart, actually. So, but it's. <laughs> he's good. He's, he's a good dude, but he ain't an engineer. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. The only the, the only bottles I trust him to seal up are the ones I can drink from, not the ones with yeah. magnetic seal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll right. definitely, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll always try to stand up for uh, Drax a little bit, just you know, to get the crew. I want the crew to be getting along. Um, you guys crew up the ship, uh, pretty well, stuff stocked. Uh, you take you take the inventory real quick, Myrtle. Uh, the ship's been the ship's like uh, was counting and stuff for you as it was coming in. The ship's pretty well stocked. I mean, it's not like fully stocked, but like you guys have enough rations. Like if if, if you guys were out in space with this current crew, you could last four months easily and that's not kicking in the recyclers um you guys have plenty of space uh some of the crew might want to bunk up together uh you guys each can each have your own quarters no problem oh mcmichaels uh, and drax they bunk mcmichaels up. and drax are down are down uh in the uh they're kind of sharing oh. uh, a pair of these bunks that are, like there's a pair of bunks down downstairs or next to each other in engineering and they're kind of sharing that or next to each other they will uh wax so the one thing you realize they're going to share a bathroom Okay. Oh, all right. And that's that. So you're gonna try to. You might want to like watch when they go for their showers. Just to make sure yeah. nothing bad. You're gonna try to ma manage the. Try to manage it. Yeah. 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 You're, you're you're remembering your management training. You're, it's been a few years since you had management training, but uh, you'll you'll get there. Uh, you flunked out of HR school. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Um, why you kind of check the stuff here a little bit too. Um. Uh, do you want? To, is there anything you guys want to look? Uh, Myrtle and uh, Wyatt, Zenny, Wax, or anything you guys want to do on the ship before, like you guys get ready to fly off into the the void? Being yeah, gone uh, for so long with, uh, sorry, Myrtle. Oh no, no, go for it. Okay. Being gone so long and with new people on the ship, I'm gonna do like a rundown of all the the weapons and oh. see if everything is counted for. Uh, there's a assault rifle, a shotgun, and a pair of pistols missing, along with a pair <laughs> of batons. Oh yeah, I mentioned uh, to Wyatt. Waxhorse, Waxhorse ears are burning. <laughs> like, oh hey, 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 Wyatt. Yeah, yeah. I found one of the smuggling cha um, compartments. I put a little stash in there so that way if we get boarded, and I kind of go through the whole thing. I said only you and me know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you, I can believe roll you can roll a deception check for that, Michael. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah. We just need a supercut of all of the times that Waxer yeah. said this is just between us, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I got an eight. Okay, yeah, you're like you don't. Third trust time them. was not the charm. Not well, you're, not, you're, you're not sure if you either put it there, and you're not sure if you're the only one that knows. I'm just gonna be like, all right, okay. 
Maybe we, uh, yeah, sure. I'll just walk off. <laughs> just shake my head as I'm walking off. <laughs> I'm gonna um, I'm gonna send a final note because I'm just assuming that you know when we have the gig and all that stuff is that I'm you know kind of sending messages over to my wife oh. and letting her know and she's hopefully really happy that she's, we're getting work. Yeah, she's pretty happy about the work. Uh, she saw the new name Drax pop up in the the ledger. Um, got onboarded, and uh, she's like, "This better pay well." If this is like, we really need this. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to kind of send her a guesstimate. Just like, yeah, hey, we're just going to do it. We're just going to go rescue some people. It should be easily and fine. This is how long we're going to be gone. And, you know, I'm I'm sorry that I've wasted so many refugees on you, but this should help cover that. Okay. Get us like, back on track. Good, good. Okay, she looked at the numbers, and it seems really strong, actually. I'll put you guys back in the block quite easily. Um. And the ultimate guys, uh, take your uh, time. Everyone getting, everyone gonna go get in their uh, crash couches. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my comfy slippers huh? to get ready to fly. Huh? I'm gonna okay. maybe put yeah. some nice kind of mellow lights and everything around the pilot's huh? chair to just kind of be zen while I'm flying. Uh, uh, Wyatt, you said? I put my sl- slippers on too and join her. <laughs> you get it, you get in the co-pilot's chair. Uh, Waxer, you know, uh, McMichaels and uh, Drax are downstairs uh, in the, uh, they're going to, uh, they're going to be down in engineering for this, for the, the, uh, the first initial burn to get, to get uh trajectory going. And then once like the burn set, uh, we'll walk around. Uh, everybody else kind of sets up and crash couches around the, uh, the galley slash like crew quarters area. Um, there's plenty of cr- crash couches to go around, so that too. Uh, Waxer, what did you want to, and Zenny, where did you guys want to be on the ship? Uh, there is like ops uh, communications, and there are uh, weapons right now are currently, uh, Myrtle and um, Wyatt have not given you guys access to weapons. That's understandable. Yeah. Um, I probably would be like, kind of in or near like wherever the, wherever I picked to, to drop my stuff off yeah, you got a bunk you, you have a bunk in the crew quarters there, there's like a series of crew quarters on the uh level below so it goes the top of the ship is uh the pilot's area then there's mm-hmm. ops there's crew quarters there's the galley with like med bay and armory below that is the um the cargo bay below that's mm-hmm. uh machine shop below that's engineering and then below that's like the drive the reactor mm. So you would have crew quarters up above, like. Okay. I'll go by the uh, calm. Sorry. What's that? Okay. I'll go up by the calm. Just okay. You get calms, okay? All right. Yeah. And you can go through the check, the whole check thing. Actually, that's actually a process you know by heart, Zanny. You've done this. You've heard, you've been on the other end of this a million times, like going through the checks and everything with some uh, the series station authorities. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you want to do that, maybe? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, I can like I'll just like do the flight check from, and everything. Yeah, from wherever from where I am, I'll just like call up to you know just the uh, comms up to, to Myrtle or whoever and say, uh, hey, I got uh, I got the I'll uh, talk to the doc and get us going. Oh, okay, perfect. That'd be really helpful. Thank you. Uh, Theory that. Station Traffic Authority, uh, Sinclair, uh, are you, let's go ahead and send over your data. Make sure you're ready to go, and you can tea kettle out here. No problem. All right, thank you. And you said Do I recognize who it is? Uh, is yeah, my time yeah. This is uh, this is Bubba. <laughs> hey, Bubba. Hey, it's good to hear from you. Hey, hey. oh, hey. he's like, oh, Zenny, you're. I, oh, I'm you, finally. I know. I'm oh, finally. You're on the other I'm side. hopping off. I know, right? <laughs> so he's like, holy cow. Time we got. Um, wow. He's so like, all right, uh, all right. He's like, yeah, no problem. I got your day here. Everything's good. Ship's clear. Uh, your pilot. Go ahead and make a piloting test, uh, Myrtle. Unless you want the, the AI to do it, you can have the ship do it itself. But if you want to try to show off, uh, I do not want to show off. No. <laughs> All right. He's like, uh, uh, Bubba says, uh, stage control is coordinating with the Sinclair now. Your tea kettle is, thank you for control. Uh, once you are uh, five kilometers from the station, you can, we will relinquish control. Uh, Sinclair check. Got that? 
Sounds great. All right. There's, the ship kind of automates out, and you can you can see that, like a uh, series bringing. Like, it's not the same, Myrtle. The last time you left this place with Jackrabbit, I mean, you guys tore ass out of here, and like she like she was making this thing like get out of here very efficiently. This is like I don't know. It's it's inhuman. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not. It's 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 like listening to like a low resolution orchestra. No, I'm not. missing my jackrabbit. You are missing your jackrabbit. All right. The ship gets out and get gets set up. You have the coordinates to head to. Um, you can see that the ship's like uh, calculating where the Odingo will be, and it's going to set up a course for that as appropriate. Uh, but you're welcome to initiate the engine uh, whenever you uh, the the drive whenever you want to. Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and just uh, do that now. Punch Get it like ready. Jack Rabbit would. That's like, let's go. You ready right. here, Wyatt? I'm ready. Right. Everybody's ready and check. The light goes on. The drive kicks in. Uh, you guys push a few Gs for a little bit here. Most of the bubbles you can hear a little uncomfortable initially. You can hear some groans over the comms. And uh, the ship starts pushing, though, at one at a, at a steady... Uh, how, how fast do you... Uh, the, the You could do it at uh, either like two-thirds of a G, which would be okay for the Belgians. They can manage that. Or one G, which might make them uncomfortable. Uh, we'll do the former just because it's a new crew and everybody's kind of settling in. So I want to make it not as painful on the belters so they feel comfortable when they get out of their seats and everything. Yeah. Uh, right. Appreciate all right. It. Uh, Zenny, you get a you get a quick uh, query from uh, Drax down in engineering. Mm-hmm. You want to take it? Oh, yeah. He goes, hey, uh, he's like, this thing, this ship can... Ooh, Zanny, have you are you sending like numbers to you of like the drives and everything? Mm-hmm. And like once the drive's being kicked in, like you're looking uh give me like a uh give me an intelligence check engineering if you have it. If you can figure I, out what stuff means. I don't think I do. I do have a different I do have a different background. I'll give you I'll give you a, a tangential uh tangential bonus. You get your plus you get your plus two bonus on this. I love a tangential bonus. That's not tangential. <laughs> what is it? How do you say that? Tan <laughs> tangential. Tangential. Sure. Uh, not general, um, yeah, not I got so sorry. I got so distracted by my own <laughs> self. Um, what do I, what am I rolling? <laughs> uh, roll intelligence, and then if you if you if you don't have engineering, you can use yeah, like okay. uh, your investigation skills on that because it's. Hell good. yes, I will. Okay. Uh, six fifteen. This is not a regulated drive. This drive can kick a lot harder than they're pushing it. It's actually like extremely fast ship if it wanted to go. Like it could liquefy the crew if it, if, if you just like open it up a little bit. <laughs> I'll, I'll go back to, to, to Drax. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's, he's, he's there like on the a... screen and the numbers are going next to him. And he's like, this thing. I, I don't know. I don't, but uh, between you and me, Drax, um, this is this this ship, this crew's a little. I don't know. I don't know what sort of things they've been up to, but uh, everything's just not quite. It's not quite lining up with their uh, their sunshiny, happy personalities. You know what I mean? Oh, he's like kind of like he's got his head. He's like, oh, all right, listen, all right. We got, listen, we got each other. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. yeah, It'll for sure, fine. for sure. He's like, um, I, I'm, I'm still. Oh, he's like, I'm trying to work with this guy McMichael's to figure out like when we're gonna take our shifts and everything. I feel like every time I want to. I feel like, I feel like every time I'm going, to, I'm going to try to go to the bathroom, he's going to take a step in front of me to prevent me from going to the bathroom and wait, make me wait my turn. Even and he might just sit there and hum to himself. I don't know. It just oh, this guy. Okay. <laughs> don't listen. You've dealt with worse. Don't don't let don't let him get under your skin. You know. Okay. Like, yeah. You want me to talk to somebody about it? I can talk to you know Waxer. Maybe maybe I guess Wyatt could probably talk some sense into it. I don't know. Sounds good. Okay, he's like, you're right, you're right. I don't have to deal with you. He's like, you're right. I'm part of a crew. I don't have to deal with myself. You're right. I can, I can do. So thanks. Yeah, I, I know we're not. This is we're not really used to doing the working on a, a ship or, you know, something like this. But so like, it's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. He's like, so uh, we're rendezvousing. He's. I'm looking at the flight path. We're rendezvousing with a ship, the uh, Odingo. Yeah, I never got a, a a a straight answer about what we're uh, what we're doing. I just know what we're ro- what we're co- what the ship's talk which ship the what the ship yeah. talking to to make sure where we go and and, and check the engineering and we can see the like it's all do all correction yeah. easily enough. But 
I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious what we're doing out here. Uh, you find out? Yeah, I can, uh, I meant to do that before we left, but, uh, yeah, I can make sure, uh, <laughs> <laughs> now oh, we're well. stuck here, so I might as well, <laughs> might as well figure out and out now, right? <laughs> A long swim home. Uh, right? <laughs> no. so he, um, One big jump. Yeah, exactly. So he clicks over. Uh, yeah, so uh, Myrtle Wyatt, the ship kind of stabilizes. You guys can walk around the ship now. It's got a trajectory where you can see the uh, the, or the path going through space uh, to intercept the Osiris. You guys have an idea where the Osiris is. They're tight beaming to each other. Uh, uh, it seems like they're coordinated. How long is it going to take us to get there? Uh, you guys should be there. If you're going at the point, about three days. We should probably, hey, Myrtle. Yeah. We're going to need help. Like, we can't control every aspect of this ship. Um, I kind of trust Waxer. I don't know Zinnia well enough yet. McMichael's kind of creeps me out. Um, I think we should give, uh, I think we should give Waxer some access to more things to start opening up parts of the ship to him that he can do that nobody else can. For now. I, I, I would actually be down with that. I think that we can really trust Waxer. Um, we've had time to get to know him. I think, you know, it looks like he's taking over watching what's happening in engineering and all of the personality conflicts that are going to happen. And I think that he can manage that fine, especially with our support, and I would be okay with that. We'll go into the computers and give uh, Blackster more... How much to- access do you want to give him? Like the full-blown access, or do you want to, like... I'll give him okay. full-blown access. Okay. He's got the same access to you. Um, I got a raise. I got a raise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you go ahead and uh, Waxer. Yeah, you, you see the little thing dings. You got some permissions. There. Okay, this is a little bit easier. Um, yeah, and okay. uh, uh, you, you open more doors. More doors open to you. Um, the the first night for like a meal comes about. The ship kind of goes over. The ship's largely self piloting. Uh, who do you want to keep? Do you want to keep one of the general crew members on, on like the the ops deck and the pilot, ops deck just to keep a watch of it, uh, Myrtle? Who's the okay? Who okay? So the first question the crew asks is, who the fuck is the captain? I don't know if we really have a captain. We don't really have one. Is okay. Wyatt and I just make decisions together? We're we're co captains. Okay. Democracy. We're all captains. <laughs> what, 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 is, what is this like like six-year-old soccer team <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> got orange slices for us now too buddy no but uh, seriously if there's a problem just come to me or myrtle and we'll right. talk to you and... well like okay so one of the like waxer you kind of hear this like you, you're kind of talking to them a little bit and you hear this and zenny you overhear this too are uh, you kind of kind of question who's the captain this is not something that's going to go over with the crew it's not going to work there needs to be a captain. There's also kind of a luck issue with it too. It might be kind of bad luck to not have a captain. Hey, hey, look, uh, Wyatt Myrtle. Okay, um, you know this crew is. They used to having one captain, one, uh, you know, one person to listen to, and uh, that person ha- it has to have a strong voice that goes all the way down to the crew, a boss man. And uh, it doesn't matter. It could be maybe both your boss man, but one of them we just call you that. Uh, I think it's good to, like, if it has to do with, like, you know, cargo, talking to people or anything like that, that's really my thing. And then Wyatt is definitely taking on, in case we run into trouble, or, so, you know. So you would so you would say then, then Myrtle, you'd be the captain, Wyatt, you'd be, I don't know, security no, dog or something. It'd be an executive yeah. officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, the, to be clear on how the ship works, the captain's like, I mean, the, the head of the ship. The yeah, EXO's yeah. job is to execute the orders of the captain. Yeah, yeah. But they also usually do defer together, like, uh, one-on-one. They kind of have a... Yeah. So that's not a bad move. Like the move. first mates! Mm-hmm. I'll, I like that. I'll let you yeah. take the duties okay. there. Well, yeah. It's just like, if you want to get shit done on the ship, why it's your man, EXO, okay. get shit done. They would mostly, yeah, they would go to Wyatt first and then, then but if you're piloting the ship and you're, you're the one kind of at the, the head honcho, they would not bother you as much, but he would be the first one to go. Okay. Right, right, right. Good decision made. Maybe you should make an announcement. Yeah. 
Are you I, gonna, I, I look around. Is the entire is basically the entire crew like just right here? Or no, they're like there's like some are like on the ship sleeping. And some are like okay. they're ready for shifts and everything. But you guys could call a crew meeting down the galley. The galley can actually hold everyone on the ship. There's only like ten of you, I think, total on the ship. There's seven, eight, nine. I think there's nine of you on the ship total. Well, now we can hold everybody. If you want to have a quick crew meeting. Yeah, uh, tell us about the mission. Yeah, we could we could do that before we yeah. go into shifts. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a yeah, good that's point, pretty... Waxer. Telling us about the mission would be a, a you yeah, know, we would be a good. The... Uh, we I don't uh, I didn't really be forthcoming about anything, okay. really. The galley the galley roll is the setup. Uh, you guys have like the food kind of kicking out. It's uh, it's like some spicy kind of like mushroom curds, uh, some with the curd. with the rice. What's that? Some Delta burritos and some motor oil. I, yeah, if you guys haven't had, you, you, you haven't had to sacrifice the crew yet, so you're not the Delta burrito situation. <laughs> um, hey, Big Michael's dinner's on you. <laughs> so, um, dinner is you. Yeah, how much on the leg, Big Michael's? I, I figured out. I figured out the roommate situation. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he, uh, but yeah, you guys, everyone kind of gets up, and you guys like bring up the pasta ware or the the, the breakdown stuff to recycle and everything, and. Um, we get served up. Everyone kind of helps themselves. Everyone's kind of eating, talking to each other. The ship's just going. Um, yeah, I got an island pilot on right now. <laughs> yeah, and the, the whole crew's assembled there, uh, Myrtle and Wyatt. You guys seem to be the ones in charge. Everyone's like waiting for you to say something. All right. So hey, uh, we got some new faces here, and I don't even know if all y'all know each other or not. And I'm not gonna make you go around the room, but hey, I'm Myrtle. And you may have visited my shop, Cooper's Goods, on series. And uh, Wyatt and I uh, have acquired this ship, and we are taking jobs to, um, you know, support everybody on the crew, to support belters who need help. And that's where we are here with this new mission uh, that we've been given by Dawes himself to go out and rescue some belters who are stranded out here. There's this to be making some deliveries because that's what we do, right? And um, uh, so we're going to go out and kind of help somebody. And, you know, I know that we've kind of added some people with overlapping duties on a ship, but uh, but there's a reason, you know, when we find the people in the cargo, we want to make sure that everything is covered, everybody knows what to do, and we can all kind of work together and we can start talking about shifts. Um, if you have things that are personal, if you want to talk to me, I'm always open. I'll be much over here in the pilot's chair. Uh, but why is your man that's anything that has to do with the operation of the ship? If you need assistance, uh, he is your man. Just kind of rah rah. Um, so the, uh, the whole element is like, uh, well, McMichael's kind of raising his hand and goes, hey, hey. He's like, I want you all to know they were there when I lost this points to his leg. And they, um, he's like, rescuing people is something they do. They're good at it. They rescued me. They got a lot of us off Ganymede. Basically, everyone's like, yeah, they got us off Ganymede. Like, they, they, I don't want to say, like, I don't want to say, like, freed us, but they got us, like, from dying on Ganymede. And then, uh, but the one, Drax is, like, kind of looking like, he's like, holy shit, like, these guys all know each other. I'm the only person that only knows one person on it. Um, but then everyone kind of looks to Wyatt and is like, all right, like, okay, so, like, he's the captain. They're the captain. Are they the captain? They're just making sure they know what's up. Yeah. Bert was the captain. Okay. Come to me first, and if I can't fix the problem, I'll talk to her. All right. XO. Okay. Yeah. McMichael's like, yeah, XO, this guy, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, big yeah, I'm like, right, one. Michael, you're embarrassing yourself. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, what, um, what about, uh, what, so what's the, and everyone's kind of like, okay, I like, one of them like, well, we're general crew. Some of us like, we're taking watches. Uh, other ones are like, we're working engine train. Some people are like, we're just handling the cargo. Uh, they go, they kind of, they're kind of trying to figure out what everyone's kind of doing. And they go to the Zanny and they go, what, what's specialty? Uh, we heard you over the comms talking to, uh, Talking to the, the the transit authority on series. Uh, 
Oh, that's a that's a good question. I'm gonna uh, internal affairs, uh, kind of HR. a little <laughs> bit security, I guess. Uh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, a little Drax- bit of everything. Just don't have me, you know, fixing any sort of big anything. That's what that's what Drax is for. Yeah, Drax kind of challenges. Goes, yeah. He's all, uh, I know Zenny from the docks at Ceres. We work together. Uh, they do inspections. I would fix up uh, the drive engines, make sure stuff wasn't leaking, uh, follow up with the maintenance that needed to be done. You but, see, um, I can see when something's wrong, you know, on a ship or, mm-hmm. you know, with people. Uh, it's just I, I rely on other people to fix it. And well, that's why I'm here. And you can tell <laughs> Baxter that you can see McMichaels being like, he yeah. chews his curl a little harder than he was a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'll, I'll make, I'll say to everybody, okay, and uh, you, everybody, you might know me, Waxer, I've been on the ship with Myrtle, the XO, and the, and the boss man, and uh, we're going to run a smooth crew here, yeah? And any kind of problems, uh, you know, uh, you come to Waxer, then uh, then we take it to XO, but uh, I'm going to make sure everybody gets along and everybody does what their job, yeah? And then I uh, sit back down, you know. Oh. So, um, McMichael's a uh, so go point why oh so what are we doing <laughs> I, I saw I, I saw down the engineer and we're going up to uh, intercept the Odingo it's like a transit ship oh we picking someone up or what yeah we're gonna pick up a dock and uh, a dock so yeah. we got we get, who's he's looking around he's like who's getting surgery which which one you got the head like <laughs> Maybe they'll fix your mouth, McMichaels. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, oh, we're going like, like, to pick, pick up this part of the job. We pick up well. the tech with us, and we'll go from there. Uh, so, okay, so we pick up the dock, and then uh, we just bring him back to series? No, nope, he's coming with us for a little while. The McMichaels kind of stop a little. Where are we going? Yeah, what's the what's the the end goal of this? We're not just picking up one person. We're looking for some cargo that might have been lost, with some crew that might be lost. Um, well, they're pretty much our loss, so we're looking for some people and some cargo. That's all. I mean, that's our job. That's what we're getting paid to do, so we're gonna do it. He's like, is this a salvage mission or it's a rescue mission or both? Well, it sounds like both. both, possibly. All right, all right. We'll see when we get there. Okay, I got it. I got it. I understand. He kind of looked. He's. I understand. He's not trying to ask more questions. All right. Get the, uh, get the mechs ready. Get the dock ready, McMichaels. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, I know me and Waxo. We're certified to run those kind of drones you got. We got that surveillance one, and then there was that mech one, the repair one too. So we got some good stuff to work on. And we can definitely do some salvage. That's not an issue. Uh, I was checking our vac suits. We got vac suits too, so we. Can, some uh, EBA if we need to. Okay, okay. Yeah, we got a good ship for that. That's good. But Yeah, we're, we're just hoping to have, you know, a real well-rounded crew uh, who can, you know, help us rescue people and uh, retrieve cargo. Pretty That's, easy. Drax, <laughs> Drax raises his hand and he's kind of looking at Zenny as he's doing it. He's like, uh, he's like, if that drive is blown, that's not something I can fix. I'm not, I'm not that good. Uh, that's why we got. That's why we're picking up somebody. Oh, the, oh. Oh, so this I, isn't this isn't a, a like a like a like a person doctor. This is a. It's a person. <laughs> well, like this a person. All oh, right, this is a person, but not a doctor for for people. Oh, maybe I don't really know exactly for sure. I assume he works on things that kind of. Um, Benny, yeah. can you can you you can make a. Uh, Actually, why that's a lie. Did you know? <laughs> uh, you can make a deception chest as you try to like lie to Zenny, who our investigator character. Zenny, you can make a um, lie to me, please. Just a test. Please try. <laughs> this is just, I'm just trying. To, this is this is part of the initiation. We got it. We got it. Make an intuition uh, check, Zenny. Or uh, perception, perception, intuition. Oh. What'd you get, Wyatt? Fourteen. Okay. Gonna burn some fortune. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Number beat is a fourteen. <laughs> well, sixteen is what I got. Okay. There you go. He's lying. Like this is not like he he knows what kind of doctor this is. 
He knows more about this guy. Is that just some schmo? I'll note it for future conversations. But you may not so want to I won't bring it up in front of all these <laughs> all these people. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna right. undermine your authority on day one. Uh, day Myrtle, three at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Myrtle, you're 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 the captain here. Uh, everyone's kind of waiting for you to chime in with some more words, something like that, as they kind of established it. But they're they're listening to the XO from your your mouthpiece. Uh, they're all like, all right, all right. I know what's going on. They they all seem to kind of have a little more confidence. They kind of know what they're out here for. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. Uh, whatever you need them to do, they can do. Um, they just have some that are kind of just general crew. They can patch up stuff and like maintain stuff or let you know if something's going wrong, but they're not going to be specialists. Um, sure. But you, have, you do have two that can do engineering gear type work. Um, they look to yeah, you so- like, to dismiss them or to finalize something or whatever. Excellent. So uh, we'll work. Wyatt will have your assignments. You know, to see where we're going to, you know, what you can do, what you can help us out with. And we're just going to kind of make sure everything is copacetic here on the ship by the time that we go pick up our dude um, and then head off for our rescue minion, our rescue mission. Um, so as you were, let's uh, go ahead. I've got we've got plenty of coffee. We got tea. We got food. Um, you know, just make yourselves at home because this is going to be your home while this we're doing all this. So cool, thank you. Cool. Uh, yeah, they have, they hang kinda, on. Do they hang on? Do they have real coffee? And have I had real coffee in a long time? Uh, it's it's like not. It's real ish. It's real ish. It's, it's a grade above. Like, like all right. <laughs> uh, it's mostly it's it's primarily real coffee. Like there's some there's some in there, but uh, it's 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 like, like a, it's like a mixed with. blend. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like water. Yeah, it's like, it's cut. You know, it's not pure uncut. Yeah. Uh, uh, Colombian, <laughs> that pure, that pure uncut, uncut Colombian. dirty it's, bean yeah, water. It, it's, yeah, it's like, yeah, it, it's got something else in there. You're not sure what it is. Maybe they're yeah. maybe they're grounding up some wood chips and throwing in there some bamboo or whatever. Shot oh, us. No, we know. But, Listen, we know. <laughs> you know um, all right. So yeah, but you got you got that set up. Uh, Bruce was pretty good, Myrtle. Like you're pretty happy. That, uh, give me actually. I want to get a persuasion test from Myrtle and from Wyatt. I want to see how much you guys kind of actually make those. Are, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, that was completely wrong. I want to do uh, communications leadership. Yay! Is that a skill you have, Myrtle? I do. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I right, don't. Oh, well. <laughs> what is that based on? Persuasion uh, or communication? Communication. communication. 16. 16. They, they trust it. Why? They, you, all right. Yeah, you can tell that they're going to come to you, Why? Before they have before they go to Myrtle. Uh, honestly, but there's there's also kind of this um, uh, like Michaels is there. You guys, you guys kind of dismissed the mean. They all seem pretty good about it. Uh, as you're as uh, the XO and the captain are walking out, if Michaels uh, he kind of goes with Denny. Uh, he goes, hey, uh, come on. he's like, come on, we know what's up here, right? This seems like this some kind of weird about this, right? Yeah. McMichaels is coming. Yeah, to he me? comes up to you. Yeah, he's what an of, odd choice for him. This is kind of interesting. Okay. <laughs> he's trying to try, try have a conversation. That's, fair. That's trying, fair. Trying to feel you out a little bit. Trying to see yeah. where, you, where you stand. Yeah. Like, come on, he's like, what's come on? No, it's not, it's, something's up here. I mean, that's it's it's Dawes. I mean, so yeah, it's gonna be weird. Oh, we're working for Dawes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Listen, everybody, you can tell other people. Like, that's definitely my first non-union job. <laughs> uh, Ajax and me. Gotta break that. You gotta break that ice eventually. But like, no, no. He's like, that's not what I was talking about. Like, why, why are we listen? So, put the innards in charge. I mean, it's their ship. I get it. But like, I don't know, man. I feel like you or Wax or one of you should be up there with them. You know, high on them and. I don't know, on the belt at Baratas, you know. I mean, yeah, but they they seem fine enough. I've been around them the next the last couple days. Hey, hey, he's like, that's okay. a, look, man, he's a, I was on Ganymede. Like, you know, I thought it was okay, though, and us keeping eyes on us too. And look what happened. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I, I see mean, no problem I get, right I get, now. I get, I get, I get, I get what you say. Well, I, I, I see. I saw, I, he's like, look, I'm a little paranoid, you know. It's just, it, 
it was a yeah, hard but this, time on this there. is also this is their ship. You know, this is this is their job. Oh. You know, they are the ones who speak in the Dawes, so you know, just like okay. it, they're they're the reason we're get we're we're going to get paid. So just but I thought you remember I, though. Just, just, just remember them for sure, but you're right. Well, it is the ship. Oh, it's also the airlock. He kind of walks, starts walking away. Just kind of like to, to wax her or to like Drax, whoever's in here, just kind of like. <laughs> I mean, wax her. You can see me, Mike, a little paranoid. He's yeah. been through some shit. He's been through some shit. Yeah. They wanted. Yeah, yeah. Saw he wanted to take over the the ship. I, I'm gonna have a talk with. I'm gonna have a talk with Nick Michaels. Ever since he lost his leg, he he never been the same. He'd been very suspicious, paranoid, but he he a good worker. I know him for a long time on Ganymede, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him before he starts any more trouble with this talk. <laughs> I'll I'll get like a little bit closer to Waxer and say, I mean, he does have a he has a little bit of a point though with the. You know, it yeah. just feels a little. It, it, but it, you know, we've been talking, and it, the the ship seems. It's this is, this is a, a, a this is a different kind of ship, you know. It, it is it's definitely a, a belter built ship, like a cobbled together belter ship. How did they get it? Did they ever tell you? I mean, they said they got, they got the ship, but yeah, no, I agree. This is like a sh like a ship, made to do, to do smuggling of, of things. But, uh, but as far as I know, you know, they've been using this ship so far to do some things, uh, you know, help all the refugees, uh, refugees, refugees, <laughs> refugees, <laughs> refugees, <laughs> refugees, <laughs> that one. that's uh, a good off one. Get, off Ganymede, and, uh, you know, and, uh, we need work, but yeah, I don't like working for dolls or the OPA, so I, I just say keep your eyes, you know, open and, uh, you know, don't forget about the stash, I only told you. <clears throat> <laughs> right. Right. But uh, yeah, no, I know. I mean, I think maybe they do things for job dolls and they trust them, but we'll see. You know, I could talk to I could talk to Wyatt and and uh, ask, ask the F XO some more questions, find out some more info about how they got the ship, or maybe we just ask them together when we all at the galley. <clears throat> see what yeah, they tell maybe. us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I got access to the ship too. Maybe I could just see in the system log. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I won't tell if you don't tell. Do you well, want to I mean, access the system logs? Yeah, just to show her. I don't know. You had to look and put her mind at ease. They, they oh, it's it. not going to, but I appreciate <laughs> you, it. You, 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 <laughs> you, pull up, fire. you pull it up, Waxer, and like the logs are like stripped. Like uh, even your trip to Ganymede is gone. Oh, I point at the screen. I like tap only, the screen and I'm like, that is not that, that. I mean, that's weird. That's, but, uh, that's weird. Yeah, maybe. You're, you're, uh, and it looks like the longs before a certain date are just absent. Yeah. Do you want to, yeah. like, uh, try to figure it out, or? Uh, I'm, I'll say, uh, you know what? I'm going to be like, maybe this is something we'll look into later. Maybe, uh, you know, I, I'll ask uh, I'll ask XO about it. I'll trust him. I'm going to ask him some questions. We'll, we'll get some answers for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, but don't get them for me. Just like ask them. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't want to listen. I've already asked. I've asked a lot of questions, especially of those two, and I don't want to make it to you know the yeah. the one belt is just like really prying into all the no you know, I, everything. I, get it. And... I mean, we don't. I don't know how close the dolls they are either, and I don't trust dolls. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. I'm sure. Yeah, that is weird. It is suspicious. She's making me suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wax is so, he's, uh, he's real easy to convince one way or another. <laughs> I'm going to turn this whole boat against you, but not. <laughs> but <they're>, secretly. <laughs> the weapons on ship. Nice. Uh, I shouldn't have told Nick Michaels, no. Right. <laughs> Listen, um, I was the one who bumbled and told Nick Michaels we are, in fact, working for Dawes. Yeah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid you got space madness uh, going on. Yeah. All right, so uh, the ship goes pretty good for the first few days. No real problems. You guys are on trajectory to go meet up the Odingo. I want to uh, have one like quick aside bef before we get too far. Sure. I want to have a quick aside with with I guess Wyatt from that conversation okay. where I like legit knew that you were lying. You guys are both like you know uh, casually. I don't know like where where do you guys want to where do you want to kind of where do you want to try to like catch them at. Uh, Danny, do you want to catch him in the galley? Like, come, like, uh, in, like, the crew quarters, up on ops? 
Um, it would probably be uh, probably in the galley. Probably okay. like you know going making a cup of coffee. Yeah, you guys grabbing a drink, tea, whatever is good. Okay. All right. Yeah. So um, this uh, this this doctor person, this whole this other place that we're going to, I uh, uh, you know what we're doing. I know that you you know what we're you know what we're doing, right? Yeah, for the most part. Who is who is this doctor person? What's the ship that we're gonna go? What's the salvage that we're gonna go pick up? Hey, all I know is for sure is Dawes asked us to pick this guy up, and to get this ship. If we find the ship we're looking for, he'll be the person to be able to get it operation. Right, but who is this person? Give us file on Wyatt. You said he was. Yeah. You said he was. A, you said he was a doctor. You I'll just swipe that... it over to you. <laughs> you you get this decrypted file, a little write up of this guy, uh, Doctor Marvin. The Valentine, he's a Martian, uh, has like a big kind of history in theoretical physics. Um, drive engines is especially in diagnostics. This is the kind of guy, like you would kind of know, like if there was a problem with the drive, he would tell you like, he could trace it back to how it occurred and why it would occur. And if it's gonna occur again, this guy is like mm -hmm. really good at this stuff. But it's pretty like, based on what you're reading about him, he, he kind of set the bar for current contemporary um, AI train, uh, like how you would train AIs to diagno diagnose uh, Epstein drives. Mm, 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 He's a big mm, brain. Big, big brain. This is a big brain you got here. And, and you can see that he has a consulting, he freelance consults in the belt on this kind of stuff. Um, he's definitely got money. He's definitely yeah. getting paid by someone or by everyone. But he's, yeah. as far as you can tell, um, he doesn't have any like allegiance to anybody except yeah. for who wants to pay him. Yeah. But he's Martian, so don't trust him. He did not do time in the military. He has no military service. He went straight to school. Oh, then you could probably trust him a little bit more than. <laughs> and uh, he is an expert. Uh, that's that's interesting coming from. I mean, a absolutely no offense, but coming from you. Uh, we bad luck in Mars. Not my favorite place right now. This is more home than the Red Rock. To each own, I guess. But uh, uh, what, where do you, where where are we going? What are we what are we actually doing? Are we actually going to salvage? Do you are we salvaging a ship? Are we salvaging? We're getting cargo. We're looking for the cargo that was on there, and we'll load it up. We'll bring it back. What's on there is not our business. We're just getting paid. Okay. Is it? Is it? Is it just some random wreck? Does it have a? Does it have a? Does it have a name? Does that? Do you know anything about this? Do we know the name? Of the ship? You do. It's oh, called yeah. the 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 Kleptis. Kleptis. Do you want to tell? Do you want to tell us any of the name? Yeah, I'll tell her the name. All right. Does that ring a bell to you? Um. Was any? Give me like a. Give me a uh, intelligence current affairs check with an extra plus two to it because uh, we're the docks at, at uh, inspecting the ships. I've seen it. <laughs> uh, eleven. Eleven. Okay. Yeah. You want to push it? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I will. What do you want to push it to? Push your lowest die. Are you getting one on there? Someone. Yeah. Okay. So uh, push that up to a. Uh, you got eleven. Push it up to a four. And uh, so it's gonna be four points, and I'll, I'll give it to you. Um, you 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 recognize the name, and it's like a salvage-based ship. It does have armaments, like it has like a PDC network, but it's like a ship that you would use to like go grab, uh, like our derelict and and like pull it apart and like get salvage off it to bring it back. Right. Um, and it's you're pretty sure. What'd you go on the drama die? Uh, two. Yeah, you don't know anything about the ownership of it. You just know it's a salvage ship. Okay. Any other questions? I mean, that's about all I got. I mean, no, I we just, don't really hide stuff from people. Just trust us. We'll trust you, and just don't shoot me. A little, a little something between um, between you and me. Sometimes, if you trust everyone, that's not a good idea. Oh, we don't trust everyone. Definitely mm, don't trust Martians. 
so far I've seen you all you you all trust a lot of people very very quickly so just yeah. you know it may look that way but we've been around the block a few times I'm sure you have <laughs> I'll just like I'll just like pat him on the shoulder and grab my coffee and leave uh, and send a quick a quick uh, tight beam correspondence to Crystal as an update with some names and some people. <laughs> um, yeah, you have access to the comms to a degree. Uh, they haven't given you full access to it. Yeah, uh, okay. I don't Bertle, know if I can, you get like a notification saying there's an attempted outgoing message back to series uh, from uh, Denny's terminal. Okay. Um... I'll, Not I'll, me forgetting uh, how ships work. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it in the queue to to deal with later. Okay, we'll look at it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, it goes pretty good. My ship. Everyone goes. I do have a question for Zenny. Uh, your sidearm that you had with you, did you? Are you carrying that on the ship, or do you have it stowed in your in your quarters? Um. Question. I would. Mm, that is a great question. Mm. I would, I think, have it on me. I think I would have it concealed if I can. Uh, why? Give me a perception seeing test, and then Zenny, give me a stealth test. <laughs> uh, She's packing. Packing. <laughs> I, I don't have that skill, so this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. 14. Six on the drama. Twelve. <laughs> yeah, you you can see that Zenny's like uh, has a gun holstered underneath her coat or her or flight suit or whatever she's wearing up, up top, uh, packing like a, a pistol. Uh, I don't know how you feel about that, but I'll be like, I, if you're gonna hide it, you should hide it better. <laughs> you don't need to wear it. None of us are carrying. If you need it, just have it somewhere you can get to it quickly. But there's no reason you should be carrying it. Call it old habit. It's all right. Not angry about it. I wasn't offended. <laughs> then you're you're picking up a vibe from Wyatt. You're pretty sure like he's like done security work. Uh, I mean, you knew yeah. about the Martian service, and yeah, game recognizes game here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that uh, they'd stop back out of their bunk and they 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 put it. I mean, they, they wouldn't hide it because it's not really like hiding stuff. But, like, you have like a good would, locker. Yeah, or... they would. They would, well, they want it to be a little bit more. Yeah, they'll put it somewhere that's easy to uh, to yeah. access. But the locker is easy to open. It, it, it opens yeah. for you if you just bring your if you go within close yeah. proximity to it. Yeah. Yep. As long as you have your hands, you can open it. Like. Um, Sweet. Cool. Um. Right. It starts going for the the first few days. You're on the intercept course of portal the. Process seems okay. Uh, you queue up this 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 tight beam that Zenny was sending out, and it basically it looks like she's sending it to her like roommate essentially. Understand it to be, and it's just kind of like uh, what, what did you put in the, the broadcast there or the little little tight beam there? Is that just like you're okay? Things are good or what? Um. Yeah. Uh, I kind of be, uh, it would be just like a, a hey, flight's going fine. We're going to, not sure exactly where we're going, but these are the things I do know. And then just like bullet point, like, this is the name of the ship we're going to go to to rendezvous with. This is the name of the person who seems to be a really big deal. We're going to, to salvage something from this ship and Dawes really seems to want something from this ship. And that's very interesting. And I'll let you know what it is when we find it. <laughs> also, let me know any, if you can somehow let me know about this this particular ship and then my my follow-up question is do you did you encrypt this message or not uh, as best as i can well she gave you that encryption code thing to, to yeah back channel. okay basically yeah. merle the, the thing comes through and like it looks like it's pretty it's a pretty big file for what it is you're pretty sure there's a heavy level of encryption on it like the ship couldn't break this not like any reasonable amount of time at all uh but it looks like it's directed back to series station uh an app like address to like someone specific uh do you want to let it through or nope <laughs> denied nope i'm just gonna leave it in a holding queue okay. until i can have a conversation that sounds that sounds reasonable it's fine, it's fine. um day three reading love and 
love and friendship here at this <laughs> day one of this seven year tour. Day, day three, you guys get uh, your you get an actually like real time communication with the Odingo. Uh, the Odingo is scheduled to board with you. Uh, you. You're basically just talking to whoever their offices are. Uh, they just are like, yeah, we're here for a transit, a single passenger transit. They don't even name the name. They just have like a number, a passenger number, whatever, uh, to to board the Sinclair. Uh, and then the basically like it's opening up at the computer. The the navigation systems can coordinate to like to dock together so they can uh, they can not basically smash into each other um, and match orbit or match uh, trajectories and everything. Um, I assume you wanted to do all that, Myrtle. Like you don't want to buy that. Yeah, no, it's we'll go ahead and do that. And I'll ask Wyatt if he can uh, can be the welcoming committee, and then I'll be ready can in I, case anything goes bad. The 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 welcoming committee or the welcoming committee. The welcoming committee. Okay. All right. Get our <laughs> Hey Waxer, you want to come with me? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these guys. Yeah. Are that you, way I can see the cargo too. But I'll are, are you kitting up at all there? Uh, Packing it all there, Wyatt? No, not yet. I'm not gonna yet. go find Cinny too. Okay. I'm gonna be like, uh, you can uh, have your gun now if you want to come with me. Just keep it hidden. A little better this time. I, I, I shall retrieve it and do so, and just kind of like when I when I come back, just kind of like do a little like hands out, like turn around for Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 it, 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 they're learning. <laughs> um, all right, so you, you guys all, the three of you are down the cargo hold. Uh, Myrtle, I got you up in ops running the ship and everything, make sure it's going good. Uh, the umbilicals are starting to like be merged. Uh, the transit, the the car, the ship, you're, the Odingo has a better umbilical than your ship, so they're going to use that one. Um, but you're all ready to, to uh, meet this uh, Dr. Marvin the Valentine, which we will do next week uh, or next uh, on March 9th for our, se- our next session of Avarice's Precipice, where we will have one. Josh Simons playing Dr. Marv the Valentine. I'm so excited. Yes, yes I haven't got to play, I've only got to meet him a few times and I never got to play with him, so I'm pretty stoked for that actually. I've, nice. I've never been able to play with him, but I have wanted to for so long. I'm so, so when excited. you all come to OrcaCon in January 2023. Yes, OrcaCon, <laughs> the, the future. The future. <laughs> future. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to the most, actually, is the future. Um, all right. Well, very much, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the info for the giveaway again. Uh, type in Highway Star, one big word. Uh, we're only doing a giveaway for the U.S. this time because it's, a, it's kind of a hard time to ship. But uh, we have the copy of the the Expanse on vinyl soundtrack with all the cool songs and stuff the like that. The vinyl is light blue, by one's the way. One's blue, one's white. They're really pretty. They're very They're pretty, really, really and like pretty. it has like the labels are like the series station and aero station logos, and there's a lot of cool art in here. This is like the concept art for Julie. Um, it's a it's a really nice set actually. But you can my winning it's nice. Um, and uh, in addition, don't forget that we have our Patreon where you can go ahead and uh, help help support the show. Check out bonus episodes, get previews and stuff like that too. We're actually got some new merch that we're working on. I'm doing the voting on there with the merch. So whichever one you kind of like, uh, you can let me know, let us know what you dig, and uh, hopefully uh, we can then put that in production and, and go all out there. Uh, don't forget, Cauldron Tower also uh, has our shirts, so if you want to support, that's another great way to support the stream. Um, but thank you for watching, everyone. It's super cool tonight. Let me go ahead yeah. and I'm gonna run the uh, giveaway. Um, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna hit the bullet, I'm gonna hit the word. And oh, our winner tonight is the real John <gasps> Downey. Oh, heck yeah, John! Let's go. The real, real John so Downey. Real John Downey. As opposed, I'm glad we didn't get the fake one because I was kind of worried about that. Um, <laughs> Bizarro let's John go. Downey. <laughs> uh, congratulations! Nice. You are the winner tonight. Uh, mm-hmm. What I will do is I will uh, message you after the stream and I'll get your information and make sure to get that out to you. I've actually got it mailed in. I'm, actually got, I'm sending out doing another mail day on Friday so I can get everything out. All right, for everybody. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. We appreciate you guys yeah. taking it and hope you guys enjoy exploring the expanse with us and such. Uh, anyone else got anything to say before we leave? 
No, that was super fun though. No, oh, that was really fun. No, that was this a good was one. Great. one this yeah. is this is where I'm I'm all here to make a drama. That I'm here to give awesome. you I'm here to give drama. This yeah. is my microphone in case you guys didn't know. It's right here. Look at that. <laughs> it's fake. I thought you were just talking in, into those fire extinguishers. No, just talking uh, to the hello. <laughs> hi. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm curious how McMichael and Drax are going to go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited fight, to see the fight, two of them fight. fight. That's going to be couple, fine. The odd couple. No, they're going to be like uh, the, the two uh, moms that I helped uh, therapy through, remember? So I'm always like, <laughs> oh, in yeah. all this like That's right. management. Yeah. So. We'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. All right. None cool. of that, you know. You guys do have a nice big cargo hold. You could have, if you guys want to have a nice fire. Dude, look good. <laughs> We also hurt. have you also have two holding cells. Just that's also. true. We'll give them yeah. two batons. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, all right, all right. Well, we'll catch you. We're back on March 9th. Uh, thank you for watching. I really mean it. Appreciate it. Okay? All right, take it easy, everyone. Bye. Bye.